All right, here we go. All right, here we go.
you know, we have a place for you. Hopefully, you're just going to have to have a little bit of it. Alright, so we're going to have For some reason, here, uh, Rev, do you do you hear it? Because I don't hear it at all. I hear, I hear it, on it on Slim's, slim's end. end. I hear it. I hear it. I hear, I hear you, you doing, doing, doing the whole. Let me, let me check. Oh my oh god! My god. I, 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 <laughs> that's the audience. Check. That's the audience, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, check, check, the audience check. here in Echo, and if you if so, who do you hear it from? Sorry, there's so many technical issues, but. Just trying to like uh, this is a little impromptu as well. Echo, yes, thank you, Mickey. <laughs> if nobody if else, nobody hears else hears it, hears it then we can totally, we can totally keep, going. keep going. It's it's pretty bad. Is it? Is it? It's from the other it's guy. From the other guy, the other which guy. is the other guy. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's pretty much from. Uh, I think it's all coming it's from, from Slam. Guy, oh. Guy. Okay. Okay. Let me try. Let some me try something real quick. So I had my phone on. I was just trying to check the uh, the audio on the fucking. We're hearing Sorry, doubles. doubles. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming from a uh, slam. I have no idea. It's it's got to be on Slim's end end at this point because I I don't know. I fixed mine. Uh, Ray, have you coming in? Good. I can, I can hear. hear him. Myself, Myself as, as in, in, I was, I was listening, listening through, through your, your computer, computer, if that, that makes, makes sense. sense. What? You can uh, hear yourself? <laughs> as if you were listening through my computer? Well, I had a, I don't know, go ahead. 
Uh, uh, five, five, six, 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 um, just say something. See if some, it something. Out. Say a sentence. Lord, Lord or, or she died under bridge. Or bridge. Yeah, for you have an echo like too for some fucking reason. I don't know. I don't understand why the guests have an echo. Yeah, for you have an echo like too for oh, some fuck fucking you. reason. I don't know. I don't understand why the. If I need to turn you down. Oh, this is fucking annoying as shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. I don't know how. I, and I honestly don't know how to fix this because uh, well. Let's see. Let's see one sec. Uh, let's try. Let's just try this. Do that. Go ahead and talk. How am I How now? Am I now? Are you coming in? I, I, like I can't. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel says, says I make, I make a, a lot. A lot. Yeah, you are. Uh, let's try this. Anything? 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 Nothing. Nothing. Of course. All right, I don't even know if we're back. Speak to me, Rav. I'm speaking to you. to you. Okay. Uh, let me see something. Talk for a little bit. Hey, hey everyone, everyone, this, this is, is Rav, Rav and his bean. bean. AKA hey, Rav. Rav. Keep talking. Just, just keep going. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. see. You gotta, you gotta keep, keep going, going in Discord. All right. Hang on a second. Just keep, keep making noise as long as you can. Just talk about your date or something. Check, check. I can still hear myself. I can still hear myself. Speak again. again. There we go. I cannot hear myself, and that is good. But where'd everyone's audio go?
that work? Uh, oh, cool. I... Let's see. Chat, is there an echo? Fucking fixed it. Chat, is there an echo? Woohoo. Awesome. I am so sorry, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tech support with Lizard. Oh, so hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, hey, Slim, say something. I think he's backstage. No, oh, I just brought him in. Oh, he's oh, still him? muted. Check, check. There he is. Cool. <clears throat> I don't oh, hear myself, man. so I think we got it fixed. Nice, yeah, nice. I have no idea what I did, but I probably should have written it down. Yeah, uh, Rachel yeah. says it's fixed, so it's all good. Awesome. I Sweet, appreciate man. everybody for standing by on that and uh, giving it to me conspiracy, CMC conspiracies, whoever it may be tonight. Uh, thank you. I will call you for technical assistance uh, once I get the stream yard set up, and you, me, and Slim probably can you know, unfuck my whole setup. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you all for being here. Uh, got off to a little, little bit of a rocky start. I, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the little pre-roll I had there. Uh, let me start. I'm going to put my camera on. Um, Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to, welcome to the stream. It was a little impromptu. I was uh, actually going to do a solo stream, but I realized that I had like 16 hours of stream yards and it rolled over at a different time than I thought. So we have like 16 hours. So I invited uh, Rev and Slim to be here to talk about uh, Afghanistan, basically. And we're going to watch a short thought documentary. I thought we were going to talk about big old titties. Oh, well, that comes later. That's the, uh, you know, draw. You, you can't put that up front. I mean... What? <laughs> well, All right. See ya. <laughs> no, I'm just oh, kidding. Man. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Well, me and Slim are going to talk about big old titties then. Um, oh, speaking of which. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, we're, we've got, uh, we got a, a short documentary called Afghan, the Soviet Experience. And it's, a, it's old. It's from 1989 or so. So we're just gonna we're gonna look at it and look at kind of the parallels today, mm -hmm. of today and what we got going on, uh, in Afghanistan, but we're not gonna be all like gloom and doom this time. Uh, this is more just so that you guys can ask me questions and I can you know look back on this documentary again, and kind of inform myself as well. It's uh well it's basically it's our Vietnam. So uh, that. That being said, after that, I have a bunch of, I have two playlists full of infomercials for us to watch. So, and we don't have to watch the entire documentary uh, if you guys don't want to. So it's up to you. Uh, it is only like 40 minutes, so it, it's not terribly long. It's right in that uh, kind of stop giving a fuck <laughs> portion. But um, aside from that, uh, before I say hi to the chat, I, I'd like uh, to give the floor to the Ravenous Bean and Slim the Living Cyborg, uh, and two good friends that are about to promote the, the shit out of their channels. And go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Thank you, Lizard. Uh, hi, guys. You know me as Rav, also known as Young Sexy Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, you know, I make music. You know me. 15-minute uh, album out. So you guys check that out. That'd be much appreciated. So thank you. I'll actually, uh, after Slim gives his introduction, uh, Liz, I will need to step away for at least five minutes. I got to go do something real quick. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Yeah. But totally after fine. Slim uh, introduces himself. Sure. Go ahead. Well, uh, go ahead, Slam. Hello, everybody. Um, thanks for having me on, Lizard. And um, everybody you think knows me here. Um, if not, subscribe to my channel. All you got to do is just search on YouTube. I'm sure somebody will um, put a link in the side chat. Um, if not, we'll do that later. So I'm excited to talk about stuff tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Slim. And uh, Mango will probably be putting a bunch of... Uh, Put, be putting a bunch of links in the uh, in the chat here uh, as well. So let's uh, unless uh, you guys have anything you you want to put forth uh, uh, right, uh, before we watch this, we can uh, we can get into it. 
it's a it is a documentary it is actually like a, a movie so it starts off a little slow uh, but if you have anything else uh, uh, I'll say hi to the chat and we'll uh, we'll get into it let's do it let's do it all right what's going on hey slim the living cyborg nice to see you in the chat <laughs> oh uh, yeah <laughs> um what's going on rachel uh what's going on mango thank you for putting all the links for uh, rachel for saving all the puppies thank you convince me conspiracies cmc conspiracies whoever you, you may be tonight again for uh, not only being here but offering your assistance mickey richards as well for uh uh going crazy uh, like a like going crazy in a church uh i have no idea what the hell you're talking about mickey richards it's hard to watch. It's hard to read you backwards. Um, and what's going on, Bill Portley and J. Troy Doe? Finally, I got the, finally got it down. I think that's everybody. But what's going on, Spirit Flame and Plane too? Oh my God, we're we got the whole fucking lot here. This is gonna be fun. We got everybody. Uh, and I, and uh, once Rav gets back, we'll have we'll have you know the whole bushel, all our apples in a row. All right. <laughs> so let's let's check this out and. I'm gonna um, like inter interject whenever you want, so that we can, uh, you know, make sure we don't get copyrighted. That's another thing. If if this doesn't get like a copyright strike or anything, we're gonna have to shut it off and do something else. We'll uh, I'll try and put together a Discord thing to watch it if you want, but uh, we'll move on from from that. If, uh, and if uh, Slim have, has anything, put that forward as well. So. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, put a little bit more in here, and we can always use Mickey as a uh, as a cleanse. Okay. <laughs> Get the whole band back together. All right, perfect timing. Oh, I guess it decided to maximize. So the the audio on this is really really quite low. Let me know if it's too low or too loud for you guys. I'll do what I can. Like I was telling, uh... Hey, it's my dad, Slim. Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the resemblance. It's uncanny. <laughs> Uh, like I was telling uh, Slim, anytime you want to interject, interject, or anytime mm -hmm. you want to pause, tell me to pause because this is this is a uh, this is like a, a production, so we can kind of we kind of have to break it up to uh, make sure that we don't get any copyright strikes. Because I have no idea if this is going to get it or not. This is one of those ones where it's a super gray area. So mm -hmm. uh, also, it's in Russian. It's in Russian. All right. Yeah, so there's some reading to do. Oh. Boris. Let's build that on the hands. We eat food. Me too. Oh, yeah, that works too, if you kind of read the subs. <laughs> Which we bring for the Soviet Union. We eat food. <laughs> the, only, the only thing we have taken gratuitously from this country is air. The air which we breathe. Air assault unit Kabul. I've personally never been to Afghanistan, so these are unfamiliar places to me. Other than, you know, the news and this. Our ordinary combat work. I want food too. <laughs> He's dancing along to the <laughs> to the song. Sweet. I said, oh, he looks so soft. Yeah, dan dancing along to the guitar. <laughs> He's like, get me down. <laughs> Give me food and catnip. 
There's a, uh, there's a few scenes in this that are actually like kind of iconic, and uh, mm -hmm. there's one that you point out here. Um, also, that's one thing. This has, this does have like war and some uh, violence in it. So if you don't want to watch that, uh, well, you, it's it's gonna be on here. It's not gratuitous violence like uh, Quentin Tarantino type shit or anything like that but it's not like a cartel uh beheading yeah. video <laughs> yeah but yeah, there is going to be some violence there is war and fighting and this is mm -hmm. 1989 out of the soviet union so be forewarned but there's one mm -hmm. scene i want you to i want you to point point it out if you if you notice it and it's something that uh if anybody in the audience is, has ever been a soldier it's something that in the u.s you would never have in like a combat operation so if you notice it I'll, let me know i'll try to point it out what's going on chris durham how you doing the music at the beginning is also uh, provided by both slim and uh, irish steel was a little that was a video that I took myself yes slim to answer your question Let's die for a lot to ask Jeez, dude. <laughs> Some straight eighties looking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a military pilot of the Soviet Air Force, Vladimir Kalechi. Before arriving in Afghanistan, I only had a general impression from television. Naturally, I understood when I was going there. The thing is fly. It's fly season. Including the possibility I could die there. If not me, it would be someone else. Just as any other Soviet citizen, I came here voluntarily in order to fulfill my duty. The so called international. Mm. Oops. Some tells me the word volunteer yeah. has a very, uh, very different meaning in the Soviet Union. It's like. You can volunteer to fight, but that means you won't get your bread rations for the month. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> do you, you? You've been voluntold to do something. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, uh, go, go, haul those branches and put them in the back of the truck. Oh man. Well, you can either lift up all of the uh, lawn mowers with fucking, you know. Or you, I can send there. you home. Or I can send yeah. you home. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Tree branches? No, uh, okay. They got bees? Uh, all right, too easy. That's why we fly from morning till night. Going in the helicopter with an AK. AK-74. Then flights delivering food and ammunition to the household around Kabul. That we've taken from our populace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and put towards the war effort. Yeah, that. Uh, well, we've seen how uh, we've seen how uh, Afghanistan works. Today, for example, I was carrying out the task of searching for caravans or other moving targets. I wonder what the significance is behind, like the uh, the stripes, striped undershirts, because this is my regular undershirt. It's mm -hmm. always been plain, but they've always had stripes. It's weird. I don't know. To be more precise, missiles like Stinger, Blowpipe. If these weapons are found, an opposition is encountered. 
We use that way. See you soon. All right, take care, man. Chris Durham, music champ. <laughs> take care, man. Uh, can't wait to see what you produce. Can't wait to play some more music. Some new music. Our task is to use as few weapons as possible against their position. And go back to the homeland with fewer losses. Weapons are expensive. That's the year of the U.S. apparently. Comrade Colonel reporting for duty. That's what the guy said when he came in. Information information has just come through. Come through from Vali Kali Kalai village. A group of 15 men with PZRK anti aircraft missiles is moving towards Kabul airport. Their immediate aim is to shoot down a USSR Air Force plane. <laughs> okay, then there's. By doing the exactly how to? He's been absent for 25 minutes, is that what he said? <laughs> I can't do a fucking thing without being told. <laughs> Don't swear in the squad. <laughs> That's hilarious. They straight up just sit there like talking shit to each other <laughs> over the radio. In carrying out military operations, pilots experience emotional and nervous strength. Mikhail Gorbachev right in the back. <laughs> yeah, on like a piece of paper and <laughs> a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you notice something about the pool balls? They're all white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sure, why not? Is there any time to think about women? Practically nope, all they're the just time. in it for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike, oh, is it, unless I'm with the boys. <laughs> yeah, unless I'm with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're in the pool with the boys. You know, start bros over hoes. <laughs> Said so, so you start remembering your wife or even your neighbor. He's not wrong. <laughs> in time of war, an enemy is an enemy. I shoot him or he shoots me. God forbid if I'm shot down. I hope my comrades will have time to rescue us from the place we're forced to land. Or jump with a parachute. If not, it means the same fate awaits me as happened to my former comrades. In other words, death, unless the enemy changes their attitude. I don't intend to get captured. In every society, there are people occupied only by the monasteries. They don't know what's happening in Afghanistan. Oof. Once our comrades return Dude. from Afghanistan, Ouch. Got, yeah, got an abdomen looking like Swiss cheese. Goddamn. Yeah. Who will misunderstand what took place? He's Damn. Just, uh, <laughs> worst part about it is like, right now, his the the word what's going through his head because I've kind of been in not in this situation but similar situations where he's he's like. Well, I don't really have to leave. I'm not that bad, am I? I don't have to leave those guys behind. I can still hold a rifle, right? And it, it's a motherfucker to be like, yeah, dude, you, you just got shot through <laughs> through your abdomen. Your fucking spleen is hanging out. So, I don't know. That, that The the look on this guy's face kind of touches me. But at the same time, like, I don't know. You guys got any thoughts? Sorry. <laughs> He has a very contemplative face, like right now in the shot. Yeah, um, and these guys were a lot of them were, you know, they volunteered, they mm -hmm. were voluntold to be here. So he's, I wonder if he's thinking about if he's going home like a fucking. Are they just gonna send him home? Be like, all right, see ya. Just like let let him die or something. I don't know. Languish. Well, around what time is this? Like around what year? 
1989. Was... Okay, okay, I see now. Okay. Yeah, this is produced. This is produced in 1989, but it's. Uh, I have no idea when all this footage actually comes from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It looks like 70s, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, it's Soviet film too. <laughs> so it's yeah. probably like it's not in the greatest. Yeah. Everybody still has old timing clothes, or not, it's not the newest. Yeah, so it could be older. Yeah, they all look really fucking skinny too. It's like a bit of your heart is torn. Yeah, Dude, for sure. That's just a kid, man. Mm -hmm. That kid, he can't be more than fucking eighteen years old. Probably seventeen. Yeah, and he's just laid up there, like, well, I got fucking exploded by the. By the Taliban. That we're oh, probably, the, probably the using Mujah, American weapon. Mujah, the Mujahideen. Yeah, the Mujahideen. At this point. <laughs> the brave fighters of the Mujah, Mujahideen, mm -hmm. whatever. Who said that, Reagan? Uh, it was at the end of Rambo. Oh. Oh, like oh a, the Third Blood or whatever? Something like that. It was like <laughs> dedicated to the brave. Uh, <laughs> Oh, fighters God. of the brave Mujahideen fighters of Afghanistan. Well, wow, did that age like piss? <laughs> oh, it got changed as soon as streaming came around. They're like, yeah, it's uh, to the gallant people of Afghanistan now. <laughs> and yeah, this is some of that graphic stuff. Just talking about Army Hospital. There, he's been wounded. Ooh. Just, uh, so this is. This, Misha's operation was complex and difficult. He lost about two liters of blood. That's a lot of fucking blood. Jesus. Well, you have five oh. quarts? I don't know. The people Something like that? Them. I don't we'll know. We'll do everything we can feel better. Ooh. We're leaving all the sophisticated equipment to the Afghans. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screenshot that shit. Because that's literally what, what's well, literally what we did, this time around too. Mm -hmm. Was I mean, I I kind of explained it yesterday, what I was talking about with uh, leaving all that equipment. Yeah, it was going to happen, and we can defeat it. It's they don't have the infrastructure to. They don't have pilots and stuff like that. So helicopters and shit being left behind, they're they're likely going to be like stripped down for scrap and stuff like that and mm. probably you know whatever technology's in there is going to be sold if it can be if it can be sold so but i don't know kidney machine the pressure chamber i guess anybody need a kidney machine the pressure chamber <laughs> isn't that a song yeah. the pressure chamber never mind it's never mind it can be. <laughs> oh, you guys are musicians, man. <laughs> the oh, sorry. there you go. Should be a duet. Oopsie. Yeah, shake those Moroccans. They'll <laughs> <laughs> look thrilled to be there. No, we are not being forced by gun to play this music for you today. They're no. Russian, so they just have stern faces. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see. Even short uh, shot point blank with a submachine gun. During the operation, six, six bullets were removed. Jeez, Jesus dude. Christ. God, it's a miracle he survived. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, let's just cart him out into the out, outdoors and play music for him and yeah. don't let him rest in the hospital. Why well, you need some fresh air from You got six extra holes. Yeah, he breathes, he breathes <laughs> better now. Yeah. You gotta take in more, you know. When they find oh, man. it, it they were somewhere close. Then I sat there with the blood running lots of it. I was soaking wet. I felt as if I'd been shot time and again. I kept looking and saw something moving out there. It was the Dushmans, the same enemy who had shot us. 
I lay down on my bed. I looked at them. I couldn't not look at them. They came and had a look at me first, then my friend. They shot him in the chest and he was unconscious. They Jeez. threw my friend into the water and came over to me. Then they cut my finger off. I could feel it. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn, dude. I thought they might cut my head off. I was so scared I didn't even feel the pain. They cut his pinky off like some Yakuza shit. God damn, dude. That's fucking wild. They were standing next to me, and at that Aww, point, doggo. I had a dog. Fire. Puck now, dog. Take care, Rachel. Well, we love you too, and it was nice to see you, and nice to have you around again. Hopefully yeah, you uh, save yeah. some puppies. We'll be here, Rachel. Yeah. We're here. We're here whenever you're around. The dog came up, sniffed at me, and barked. They left me and went back into the bulrushes. They disappeared, vanished. God damn. Nothing good I can We're getting a thunderstorm here, so my internet might cut out. So if I disappear, that may be the reason. So just let everybody know. That's fine. It happens to me all the fucking time. Yeah. I live in the boonies. It's okay. Just yep. let, let me know. Yep. Brother kills brother. Are you a Muslim? Yes. Did you ever think they could kill you? After all, there are Tajiks amongst them. That's true, there are. Damn. But I didn't think they were such animals. That they could cut someone up alive, kill like that, throw someone into the water. You'd be surprised what people can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably the bravest thing he did, <laughs> was say that. Holy shit. Um, he just said start moving. I think, but I'm not 100% sure, I think this bridge, that same bridge that they were showing, that's the bridge that uh, the Soviets retreated from Afghanistan over, and it's the same bridge that the Afghan army is using today to uh, retreat over using mm -hmm. <laughs> U.S. Army equipment. So, yeah. <laughs> wow it's it's, uh, it's 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 so crazy it's like history repeats itself you know no it's almost <laughs> like it, whoa it, imagine that it's almost like when you label a country or a region the place where empires go to die mm -hmm. um it lives up to its name and uh 20 years of whatever whatever the fuck we did was is gone in two months the taliban have taken over so yeah can we just stay out of afghanistan let them fucking make their opium and hopefully not fly any more planes into our fucking buildings is that cool <laughs> we can only hope yeah we can only hope but we'll see yeah but uh mineral wealth you know oh the minerals we gotta get those minerals fuck i always forget about the minerals all right well uh hopefully we didn't leave any High speed. The spice, the spice melange. The spice. <laughs> he who controls the spice controls the galaxy. Is it the galaxy yes. or the universe? The spice, Uni ma the spice melange. I think it's universe. Spice melange. <laughs> 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 I know Dune takes place in like what? Three Arrakis. Yeah. With, with the time. Oh, the time. Yeah. Okay, it's tell like, us side chat. Hmm? I don't know. What he's... Uh, side chat. Side chat's gonna tell us that they okay. know. <laughs> tell us in the side chat. It's a good boy. When was Dune set? This what year? Runs from the Soviet border at Hayraton all the way to Kabul. We call it the Road of Light. 
It's a very ancient road, and in his day, Alexander the Great passed through here. Oh yeah, that's right. Alexander the Great couldn't conquer Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alexander the Great, more like Alexander the Pretty Good. Yes, me. <laughs> I don't know if it's this guy or one of the one of the other ones, but he's just like he's really cool. I don't think that's right, uh, Mango. Ten thousand ninety-one, is it? I mean, I wouldn't. I thought it was three. I don't remember. Rev's got the book right there. <laughs> Why didn't I put you? Well, yeah, but read it. <laughs> yeah, what year is supposed to be in? Uh, it's <laughs> like, I, 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 I just started reading okay. it, and it doesn't Mango, say. It okay, doesn't Mango, say. Mango says yes, and so I believe Mango. She says she watched Dune two days ago. Okay, I, I believe Mango I believe. as well. Which one? The David Lynch one, uh, Mango? The road is controlled by two marks. Does it? I have no idea. The is old or the rates? new? Isn't there a new? Oh, there have is. Have they come there. out with the new uh, series? Not yet. Uh, the Dune movie's coming out this year in October. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I know I've seen the old one. That was a very long time ago. And it's with, a very long movie. With yeah. Jason Momoa starring as Duncan Idaho. I wouldn't even... <laughs> wouldn't even have guessed it, man. You blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the guy I was talking about. This guy's cool as shit. It looks cool as fuck. Yeah. Dad? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> 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 okay, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you were made from old so Soviet parts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We all gotta save money in this economy, you know. Hey, I gotta get up and I gotta turn on my AC. I'm getting really mm -hmm. hot, so I'm just gonna let this play. This is actually a, a really good part to let play through, so I'm gonna let you guys do it. All right, no problem. I'll be right back. Four officers cool. were already wounded. Two soldiers and one lieutenant major were killed. Oof. After we evacuated them to Kabul Central Hospital, the most frightening, upsetting thing happened. The captain, who was still alive when we took him in the APC, was taken out on a stretcher. When the nurse saw that he was dead, she asked, Why did you bring him here? At that first moment, it was difficult to answer her. When one is in a hurry, in the middle of a battle, one doesn't think who has to be taken where. The most upsetting thing was when we had to drive our four friends to the Black Tulip, to the moon. It's some good old Russian folk songs. Yes. I was going to say, at least they have an accordion, but I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> now do polka. <laughs> oh, he did it. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Now do the rush now do the Russian kick. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they just tossed up a fucking plate. Yeah, I wonder how many shots of vodka like they're deep in. <laughs> you mean how many bottles? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never had to take coffins to the Soviet Union. But the hardest thing in our service is a trip such as this.
hospital is there. I thought a lot about what the person accompanying the coffin can say to the parents of the guy who died here. No words about fulfilling the international duty, about fulfilling a human or soldier's duty, will replace the lost son in a mother's heart. This is the hardest thing for us in the Soviet army. Sorry about that. I re-smashed my already smashed finger in the window, so I didn't want to come on yelling. Ow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's at that healing phase where it, like, bumps into everything, too. So, I'm not that hurt. Um, this is something I was going to say, and I, I missed the part that I was talking about. They're all, um, dancing, dancing? and shit. Yeah. yeah. Where are we at? We'll go back uh, too far. But you, Rev, you pointed it out, but you, uh, what's going on, Chris Davis? Uh, but it was something that I mentioned before, and it was, um, uh, what's something that they can, um, that they can't have? I'm doing okay, Chris Davis. Uh, it's like, what, yeah, what would they never, what would never be there in, like, modern combat? Mm -hmm. like, especially with the United States and it's alcohol. He would never have, like, these guys probably had some strong-ass Russian vodka mm -hmm. just, like, supplied to them, and you would never have that, like, today. Like, <laughs> oh, when, um, back in the day when you'd watch, like, or, uh, in, what was it, um, Forrest Gump, I almost said Saving Private Ryan, Forrest Gump, when they have, like, beer delivered in, they would actually have, like, beer in Vietnam. They would give you beer so you could drink and get drunk. But nowadays, that's so, like, it's so ridiculously regulated that <laughs> doing this shit, if you got caught with that much alcohol, you would just be, like, that you wouldn't have rank, and you probably wouldn't have pay or status or a job for very long. <laughs> So your so, ass is out of there then. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's not a, it's. I mean, you got to be alert the entire time. But uh, people sneak it in. But at the same time, like, this is just such a wild thing. And these these guys were just supplied like hard liquor, as like a normal cultural thing too, mm -hmm. to keep that in mind. So, I just wanted to point that out, and I probably should have been here for it, but I didn't know where it was in here. Texas doesn't have to wear a mask anymore. You should still wear your mask. Also, if you want to uh, purchase a nice mask, you can go to the link below. Down, down in the description, check out the Etsy shop. They're still for sale. I think. I think I reposted them. <laughs> fulfilling a human or soldier's duty. You like that plug? Will replace the lost son in a mother's heart. Yes. This is the hardest yeah. thing for us. Yeah, they're straight in drinking the vodka. Army. The third toast is silent and traditionally reserved for comrades killed in action. I'm up here in Ohio. It's, it's nice and chilly today, but it's actually getting, it's like humid. The air is still right now. That's why I had to turn on the AC. There you go. Yeah. Down it. Cheers. I'll drink to that. <laughs> now we're going through Cherikar. The stretch from here to Kabul. It's the most dangerous zone on the road. I've been... So, like, I, I said I've, I've never been to Afghanistan, but I've been to... Uh, Iraq. I don't know if you guys have been to, uh, let's say, like a third world country, I guess, where that driving on the road like that, where there's just sort of vehicles doing whatever they want uh, because there's pavement. That's just so, it's just the norm, and it's the craziest fucking shit. Like, you'll see motorbikes and uh, vehicles just pop out of nowhere. Um, I don't know Mex if you guys have... You, Mexico? Yeah, yeah, you, oh yeah, you uh, yeah, I've been in Mexico. Yeah, I've, I've also been to El Salvador, and it's kind of like that. Uh, yeah, like people, 
don't d seem to realize that like the U.S. came up with all of the laws, like traffic laws, so they have to spread out everywhere, and that doesn't always happen when you know, well, people just don't give a shit, <laughs> and they have to get logs to places to make money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like that's why you see crazy third world countries where there's just like no traffic lights, people don't give a shit, just because. They haven't, they haven't like developed our sort of system um, as as much, but it's like it, it's it, even in places like uh, when I was driving in Kuwait, they will roll up on you. I shit you not, they will roll up on you, uh, going, you know, 120 miles an hour in a Mercedes SUV. And the only thing they're going to do is flash their lights at you, maybe honk, and you got to get out of their way. And it's usually some woman in a burqa with a bunch of kids running around in the back seat. And by running around in the back seat, I mean, like, toddlers that aren't in car seats. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it, 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 it's crazy out there, folks. I can be baby wild, Wilden, Wilden out there. <laughs> yeah, they'd be Wilden. Be Wilden in the desert. But, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to put that out. My bad. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm wearing my mask. I wear my mask all the time. I wear my... I'm, <laughs> I wear my mask anytime I go in into a place, especially, like, the grocery store. Hey, something's wrong with this scene. This guy's not listening to hard bass. <laughs> 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 they had to they had to dub over it for the documentary. It's copyright issues. <laughs> that's true. <Yeah. laughs> God damn, hella eighties as fuck. <laughs> 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 wow. I'm sorry, that is just hilarious. <laughs> I told you this documentary was great. Just some random camel just chilling. Camels smell horrible, dude. Smell like shit and piss? <laughs> yeah. They, they smell like. It's hard to tell. They smell like a fucking beast. You know what I'm saying? Not like a barnyard, but like a... Ugh. Like a... Just imagine, like, the beast from Beauty and the Beast, except... I mean, the shower turned into a person, so he can't really use that. <laughs> you know Stank. what Stank. Yeah. Get inside! <laughs> oh shit, they're shooting. Oh shit, Liz, are you okay? <laughs> oh shit. Are you okay? Check it out. <laughs> Incoming. Return fire. Oh my god. We're back at it. We got this. Don't worry. <laughs> I accidentally, like, breathed in a little bit. Excuse me. Sorry, I accidentally breathed in a little bit and fucking when I coughed back out, it like the seal on the can made like this aerosol spray and it power washed the corner of my fucking eye. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that was that was an interesting thing. Uh, I don't know what happened. We got hit with missiles. No, a missile uh, missed them. Oh, oh okay. He's okay. And he's like, you, you Americans are lucky. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, we are. Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, they were shooting American missiles at you, probably. Anyway, <laughs> uh, moving along. Uh, if they'd hit us, I don't think anyone would have seen this film. Yeah, probably. Uh, what's going on, Ann Kennedy? Uh, on the phone, can't read. Who's on the panel? It's myself, uh, security monitor lizard, uh, Rev. Ravenous Bean and Slim the Living Cyborg. And Yo. I'm sure Mango will put their links in the chat and, so that you can subscribe to their channels. That's Nez. Oh, shit. 
every Spectre. thirteen every thirteen year old's profile picture in my early days of MySpace. Yeah. Backflip Spetsnaz guy. <laughs> the, oh yeah, backflip Tomahawk Spetsnaz guy. That's what it is. And the prevention of armed caravans from Pakistan and Iran entering Afghanistan. The um. I, I think that's a PKM. There's a machine gun that he has. It's mm -hmm. it fires a seven six two. It's not it's not light. It's, it's not a, really a light yeah, it's a heavy machine gun. And these guys were, were they're just like holding it. They're just like, uh yeah. Yeah, whatever. Hold on. See this dude's just got and that's that's probably like I'd say it's two hundred rounds. Right there. And that's got to be, I don't know, probably 20 pounds. Just right there. Plus the, the weight of the weapon. Plus the fact that you have to keep it on target. And these guys, this dude's just like, yeah, well, whatever. I mean, pulls it, racks it back. Let me tell you, that spring, we used to, like, test our strength with our 240 Bravo, which is it's a similar weapon, similar type of weapon. That spring on it is a motherfucker if you can pull it back with one arm like rack it back uh, like it just in your hand in your hands it's actually like a feat of strength because it's a motherfucker to do it so these guys just yeah casually do do do, do yeah whatever <laughs> like it, it's nothing it just shows that you know special forces is special for a reason <laughs> they got they got bear strength Oh yeah, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You live uh, close to a special forces base, I take it. No, going to the <laughs> so, making us some extra money. Land to land maybe. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> maybe. And the prevention of armed caravans from Pakistan and Iran entering Afghanistan. Also, the destruction of enemy guerrilla groups in their base camp. We destroy the caravans which bring death to Kabul. In the West, they often show films. Interesting. Funny films like Rambo. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just wait a couple years in the 90s. You'll be surprised what they what they come out with. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wait till CGI comes out. Ah. <laughs> We're not at all like the images. I wonder if they've seen Superman. Ghostbusters. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I wonder if they've seen uh, Red Scorpion. Everybody here oh, what about Red Dawn? Red Dawn, ah, oh, that oh. too. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you know the, that that first movie, uh, what is it, Red Scorpion was like panned, like big time. I, yeah, I've never seen Red Scorpion. What's that's the one. That's that's the one with uh, Dolph Lundgren, the, the guy who played Ivan Drago in Rocky IV. Right. The Russian guy. So he he because of the popularity of Commando, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, they're like, hey, you know what? We'll make oh. a Commando movie, but with a Russian guy, a Soviet guy. So they like, brought in Dolph Lundgren, and that movie actually sucked ass more than Commando. <laughs> they tried to do like a, a Superman Red Sun kind of thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that flop. That's probably why I never heard of it, <laughs> dude. I have a I have a DVD. I. I wonder if we could watch it on here. We'll we'll have mm -hmm. to do it as a, a party, but it's it's a movie with Dolph Lundgren and it's called The Russian Specialist. Okay. Now this is have you ever heard of this movie? I if it's bad, probably oh, not. Have you heard of it? Slim? I have not, no. Good. No. <laughs> it's it's really bad like it's basically just a display of how fucking old and you know outplayed Dolph Lundgren is mm -hmm. like he there's one point where he has to cross a, a short ravine and I'm, I'm talking maybe this thing is maybe three feet deep and it's not a good slant 45 degrees maybe dude just like a dude looks like he needs a fucking walker and a railing to get down this thing he's like oh shit like carrying an ak looking at every step comes up and he's just like looking around you can just tell like he's tired 
Not only that, but he's like, I just fucking, I almost broke my ankle. <laughs> also, I have no idea what the plot is, but we'll have to watch that. I, I'll have to show it to you guys. Okay. Um, so um, my internet keeps cutting in and out, so um, I'm going to take off, but uh, okay. I'll uh, get on stream with you guys uh, hopefully soon. So just let me know. Uh, later, okay, everybody. Sure. Have a good night. Yep. Take care. See you, Thanks Slim. for being here, Slim. Yeah, yeah, yeah I for appreciate sure. you, man. Thanks for having me yep. on, too. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah sure. Thanks, Slim. Yeah. yeah, yep. Later. Take care, bro. That is. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well. Because it'll just be us. But we'll, we'll finish this out, and then we'll get into some infomercials. We'll uh, we'll get, to, get into something funny, a little bit more lighthearted. Because we're only an hour into this. We got through this pretty quick. But before this guy talks, let me see what Ann Kennedy said. This talk makes me miss my one and only firearm, a simple cult government issue. I was told that it was... What is make was made for me? <laughs> Lol, small hands. Uh, no matter what I aimed at, uh, or at, at the range, landed headshots ninety for ninety five percent of the time. Jesus, yeah, it's like shoot him in the dick, pal. Oh, wrong head. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know how you went went to go about that, but that's pretty damn impressive. My uh. My old supervisor, when I worked security, she she carried a compact because she had small hands, just like you. And I have, I don't know, I don't have like bear paws or anything, but I carry a I carried a forty five, like a regular size P two fifty, if mm -hmm. you know what that looks like. So I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't know. If, Rav's probably got just like a collection of guns. He's just he's just like, oh yeah, you guys want to see my vault? He's like stomps on the floor and pops things up. <laughs> Fucking yo. <laughs> guys want to see my um my gun collection? Oh, actually no. You guys want to see my katana and shuriken collection? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I'd be down to go. You know, back to being fourteen. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What's what's more? I guess four, fourteen ish owning katanas or owning shurikens. Uh, definitely the shurikens. But you do live in California, so you do definitely get a pass on the guns. Cause well, it's California. <laughs> it's not like you can. Hey, it's better. To, it's probably uh, easier to own a blade. Let's just say that. Uh, it's easier for me to get a shotgun. You can just do it. <laughs> Get a get a shotgun, and fucking. You should uh, buy a shotgun and like duct tape one of your katanas to it, and then just put <laughs> it on f Facebook Marketplace. Uh huh. And be like uh, vintage trench gun. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, that's a katana. Uh... A vintage Japanese trench gun. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's from the. Uh, Authentic Unit 731 Experimental, 100 bucks. <laughs> Dude, oh, I, I fell in love with uh, with an M1A, like a rifle, like a Springfield rifle. And I was like, yeah, because oh, I rented it. And I was like, how how much is it to buy it? And then I see the price. I'm like, oof, yeah. I still have my fucking Rock Army Island. Rock what kind Island of can, Armory. can opener is that? This is a knife. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't got that. <laughs> no, I I have no. I haven't taken out of the, taking that shit out of this drawer because well, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have anywhere to put it really. Mm -hmm. it's, but it's just a 1918 M1 bayonet that I'm just like, oh, well, it was given to me as a gift. That's dope. I'm jealous. Yeah, I really gotta. I gotta make a shadow box of my stuff, but I, well, I don't have time to scratch my own balls because I, I don't know because <laughs> I'm horrible at time management let's just put it that way but uh yeah let's uh let's continue this um, for sure for sure brother uh, for sure uh yeah uh, let me see and says yeah I'm thinking I might be suppressing anger the thing at very little coil recoil yeah my p250 actually has a decent amount of recoil I suck with it I'm really out of practice but it's really loud so It'll get the job done. <laughs> People want to choose the... Want those big, scary-looking, intimidating guns, but isn't it better to have something you can handle well and achieve good accuracy? Like, yeah, exactly. That's what I want. Is just... I mean... 
it doesn't matter if it's pink as long as I can shoot you with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, pink uh, pepper spray on my keychain for my house just because, like, I, I know I'm not really ever going to need it, but at the same time, just one extra level of embarrassment. Mm -hmm. maybe. <laughs> I, I have a Hello Kitty switchblade. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is it is it like the Punisher switchblade where it shoots out? You can aim it at their neck. Oh yeah. Like a, uh, that makes a little only... make, makes a little cat sound when you shoot it. Mute. Mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> I, was, I was explaining one of those hello like the cat keychains with the spikes on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have one of those. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, let's keep, let's keep going. <laughs> we are one in our collective. In the face of war, we are all equal. Me too, and like no fucking other. Our religious persuasion. Our blood. We have gun army. We have gun government army. It is, of course, not very strong. In comparison with our army, it is not very well prepared. Yeah. It's still raw. What is the worth of a soldier who goes into battle behind other people's backs? In this case, our backs. Yeah, damn. I wonder what he was carrying. It looked like... I couldn't tell if they were like grenades or flares. Ooh. Oh. Ah, I hit the top. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, dude, that that thing is like 70 pounds, man. That, uh, the receiver for a 50 cal, or whatever mm -hmm. that was, because I think that's what it was. But, like, uh, cool story, lizard story. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll get back on this, I'm sorry, I, I keep pausing it. But, um, when we were uh, on our pre-deployment training... We parked all of our vehicles, uh, we staged them uh, across the street in one area, and we had to carry all the weapons over <clears throat> to the arms room after we got out of the field, right? So, uh, I, you know, you have to carry as much as possible. Get it all done as quickly as possible. People are yelling at you, yada, yada, yada. Well, I'm carrying a, uh, I think I was carrying my full body armor, full kit, and uh, an M249, so a saw, a, a machine gun, mm -hmm. and myself and someone else were carrying uh, a Mark 19, which is a, a thirty or a forty millimeter grenade machine gun. Now, the the uh, Mark 19, I think, is like 150 fucking pounds. Jesus, uh, it's, it's it's massive. The bolt alone is 40 pounds. Double so. Back. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's a it, it's it's a motherfucker to get back. But yeah, that bolt, it's like I said, it's forty pounds on its own. So we're carrying that, and it's swinging around. I got my my uh, machine gun on my sling and everything, and I'm carrying it down. And my my right thumb got caught between the Mark 19 and the charging handle on. My uh, my machine gun, and the charging handle is probably about a half inch square. Mm -hmm. So there's my thumb, pretty much right dead center, half inch square between God. my my body, the weight of my body armor, that machine gun, and the uh, grenade launcher. And it's all, you know, high grade, high grade, military grade steel. So yeah, that took a long ass time to fucking heal out. So little bumps like that, I can I can only imagine like his shoulders probably cut the fuck up. But uh, yeah, probably all sauced <laughs> up on vodka that he doesn't even care or doesn't feel yeah. like. <laughs> Just if another had, day. If I had the the amount of vodka this this guy had. You know, I wouldn't have minded at all. I would have been like, oh, shit, I gotta go to the fucking medic. Hold <laughs> on, let me help you guys out for a second. 
<laughs> Give me that Marty. <laughs> I got to know about Afghanistan. I decided to check it out for myself. I started training, started doing sport, working on stamina. When I got to Afghanistan, I decided to test myself in action. Because here, everybody is testing himself for man. <laughs> Those are just like fucking living room chairs, dude. <laughs> I was a young Did you man see that? to feel the yeah. weight of a machine gun. I see that. <laughs> oh my god. I think what awesome. the hell is like this is a it's like a military plane. <laughs> you got like living room chairs in there. Yeah, dude. Now I don't want I got to I got to lie. I've been on a few planes and I wouldn't have minded that. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, yeah, you get the living room chair. Sorry." I'd be like, "Okay, cool. I'll fucking sit here. Looks comfy." <laughs> Down and out, down and out. Oh wait, wrong era. Actually, no, kind of fits. <laughs> They're close enough. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Two of his helicopter shots. <laughs> Fucking classy, classy Soviet. Sun blocking technology. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Return to monkey. <laughs> Return to monkey. Come on, I want to see some machine gun action. Yeah. Out, out of the helicopter. Ta -ta 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 -ta. About to assault. They're about to do some shit. We often have to confront the enemy face to face, while other units only see the consequence of their work. They oh, fire shit. rockets, artillery. They don't know what the face of a dushman in a turban coming towards you looks like, where it's a matter of either I kill him or he kills me. Many of us in the army have had to confront the fact that we have to shoot people instead of stuff. God damn. Uh, yeah, those, Look at those big rounds. Ass rounds, dude. They were not fucking around. This is not natural for us. Some of them, maybe. But They're it's... all going back to civilian life. And I think that Afghans. Yet they still lost to a group of nomadic uh, uh, militants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's>, uh, <laughs> I know the feeling, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? Just like meet with some folks? I thought they were going to fight. Yeah. The sooner they send us home, the better. For real. Give me some of that good home cooking. Babushka's goulash. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Bro. I was with Shani the other night. She gave me a babushka's goulash. Her Eww. babushka goulash. Throughout their whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that what she lactates instead of sour cream? <laughs> babushka goulash. <laughs> Who says I wish I could lactate sour cream? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I still remember that. <laughs> well, apparently, Shani. <laughs> well, she got a whole song about her ass. <laughs> Good old she Irish got a whole. Too. She got a whole wide song about her ass. She's got the whole wide ass behind her. <laughs> I don't know how that one goes. She's got the whole. What's going on, Mark Short? She's I'm got Mark. The whole ass. The whole white ass. Oh, Shaney's gross. Okay. They're just gonna keep flying. Yeah. It's just flying. They're, they're gonna keep flying for a little bit. Uh. There's not there's not a whole lot. Do you want to continue with this or would you like to uh move on uh, a little bit? 
I th- it's just pure interviews, no? The yeah, first a part- lot of a lot of it's interviews. It's it's more introspective. Okay. Um, but uh, hey, go ahead. No, it's just uh, because well, I I was kind of hoping that I'd see you know there was the actual result. I know we saw like wounded soldiers earlier, but I was thinking that like towards the end they'd show more um like ah oh, we actually lost the battle pretty badly and then it's like the campaign has been lost we're pulling out yeah there there's uh i think this was produced in the soviet union so i don't think it that's why i was saying the the one guy who was like yeah i don't want to be here mm-hmm. or whatever he said it was brave because i think this was produced in the soviet union so it they might not show the pulling out it's just sort of like uh they're trying to show the hardship i guess okay it's like hey this is what our boys go through i don't know but uh it's it's up to you what you want to i thought i turned off all of my fucking notifications (laughs) yeah anyway uh sorry about that folks but uh yeah do you want to continue do you want to watch this guy's interview I'll I'll then, hear uh, his I'll hear his yeah. interview out. Yeah, since oh this guy's uh, creeping me out. He looks like a muppet. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he looks like a muppet. It does. Um, so what we'll do we'll watch a uh, uh, non Muppet Boys uh, interview and then mm-hmm. uh, we'll we'll take a quick Riley Blake Blake, right Riley Blake. Who's Riley mm-hmm. Blake? Is that a famous person? Actually, let me let me look it up real quick. I think it is. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Um, I need to get more water, like real water. And yeah, I need to I need to clean my gun and do some fucking uh, shooting. But ammo is still really fucking expensive. I have a forty five, so it's like a dollar a round. So I better use that shit wisely. Uh, you know, who, who is Riley Blake? She's a top star in the sewing industry with her clever fabric designs and insight into children's clothing ideas. There you go. Fair enough. Good job, <laughs> Riley Blake. Go, Riley Blake. Uh, take a Riley break from your sewing. You deserve it. How about that. Uh, kids kids love you or whatever <laughs> all right let's uh we'll take a quick riley break and um and then we'll get into some infomercials if you want and if you have, if you have anything that you want let me know um i mean i sent something in the video suggestion that was i was gonna say like if if it could be played like at the end of it it's not long it's like a little oh. clip of uh what's actually happening at the oh, kabul shit. airport for sure we will absolutely play that because just to, just uh, to end off this little section you know absolutely we'll do that uh so yeah i i just took a look at it we'll definitely play that because uh i have some pictures and videos and stuff i'm like on my phone but mm. i don't know if i save them or not because it's actually really disheartening <laughs> so i'll uh yeah we'll take a look at that and uh and, and check it out um to the, there we go. Good, this goodbye, there. Muppet Boy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> We're paying a dollar around. I reload my cases. Yeah, I don't have that ability. I could save the casings, but I don't have I don't have a reloading bench or anything like that. <laughs> so. Imagine heads were cut off, limbs were cut off. <coughs> they drove screwdrivers and knives into bodies. They gouged out their eyes. The first reaction you feel when a friend dies is to avenge him. If someone invaded the U.S., would you have the same vitriol as the people who put the screwdrivers into those soldiers? That's like yeah. a serious question for both the chat and for uh, for you, Rav. So, if like a foreign enemy like invaded the U.S., yeah, okay, and those same people put what screw screwdrivers into my hand. 
Yeah. No, okay. I'm saying like you're fighting against foreign invaders. Okay. And you conquer a position. You take over a position. Would you? Would you? Uh, like, would you? Uh, would you feel the same way as like these uh, Afghans who stuck those screwdrivers in? those folks or would you just be like okay they're dead let's fucking toss them in the river you know what i'm saying i would so just I, I would just say yeah that they're dead because what would what would that what would that do for me maybe just give me like short term just satisfaction just like yeah take that because you caused suffering for me and my dead comrades but uh revenge is a very is a toxic um endless cycle that only leads to you know not a good place it's very well put and that's why like if you remember uh back early in the in the iraq war i'm gonna touch on this real quick once this guy's interview is over we'll watch your video and mm -hmm. do the thing uh, back in the iraq war uh there was a video of marines who uh, were caught urinating on the uh the corpses of enemies like dead enemies well that's mm -hmm. you know desecrating corpses that's a i think it's a geneva a convention uh violation um but at the same time like it, it can also be used as like a psychological thing so i don't know what their motivation would have been behind it other than you know having such vitriol to just be like i'm gonna fucking this stupid russian motherfucker was in my land i'm gonna stab a screwdriver in his dead ass chest or something because like these soldiers that are being interviewed right now look like they do not want to be there and oh no there's not been one person here that looks like they want to want to mm -hmm. be here and let alone in this film they actually look like scared mm -hmm. and do you remember were you around watching the uh prager you what was it the juneteenth with uh, Amala, oh yeah, I've who, seen it. Was... The, it was that um, like where she's like, it's kind of like that, like that podcast setting, right? The the yeah. black lady, and then the 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 cuck like white guy that has to stay on the side because she has to be yeah. the centerpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, do you remember that? Like the Juneteenth video. Let me see. Oh yeah, can... for sure, for sure. So she, let me see. Let me see if they actually still have it up. Which they probably do. They're pretty goddamn shameless. Uh, I need some typing classes. Oh. Are you Juneteenth? No, no, no. Exposing the trick of Juneteenth. Wait for it. Hold on. Just look at her look at her face. Perfect. And we are going to talk about Juneteenth. Because everybody right there that's the look i was fucking i was going for talk about juneteenth right there that look look at that look she's looking off to the side these guys have had that same fucking why well, don't you these there guys you have had that same fucking look of like god damn do i uh, do i want to say the things i want to say? like the way this guy is looking off screen he's like i can't say the wrong thing I'm wondering in this documentary that we're seeing if there's like a like a, a Soviet captain just like standing off off screen just like looking I at him. I don't. I you know what I if there is because okay so so I, since I was public affairs, if someone like this is going to come in and do a documentary, you're going to have a public affairs officer standing there, who's going to say like. Look, you can't ask that question, especially if it's something, you know, top secret. It's like, look, look you know, you're not going to ask questions like that or you're getting kicked out. Mm -hmm. We're just going to cut ties. And by cutting ties, that means you literally have no no more access. Um, so, yeah, I imagine there's somebody there, but I don't think it's somebody that is going to stop them from saying too much. It's okay. just that they're so unwilling to say that that's kind of my point here is they are so unwilling to they're so um unwilling to say every what they really truly want to say because they fear for the, the consequences that they have to uh 
they have to internalize it and they the way they internalize it is through their facial expressions and that's how you see like this guy's look it's kind mm-hmm. of the same as hers he wants to say what he wants to say and she's sitting here like oh fuck if i say the wrong thing uh, you know i my career could be over or i'm going to get yelled at if we have to do this again you know that makes any sense. So, like, I'm not. I'm not trying to say Prager U is Soviet propaganda or they're like the Soviet Union, but this is the mm-hmm. same kind of influence that authoritarian influence that's really disturbing, and it needs to be. It needs to be pointed out and quelled because you're being forced to say something rather than saying it of your own volition. Um. I don't know. I don't have any more on that. <laughs> if you no, but I totally yeah. understand what you're saying. I don't know if that was like a rant or a series of words. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like to call that corner of uh, of the Prager U podcast room the corner of shame. Yeah, poor uh, poor poor Will Whitless has been really. He sucks. Let's go on. Was under the command of comrade well known. Only four patients survived. We saw photos of what was done to them. Imagine heads were cut off, limbs were cut off. They drove screwdrivers and knives into bullets. They gouged out their eyes. The first reaction you feel when a friend dies is to avenge him. To unload the whole fleet of your machine gun into the enemy. That's the biggest problem with our criminal justice system mm-hmm. today. Then revenge is replaced by others. Like that, like unloading his whole clip, that's yeah. way over the top, more than nece- what's necessary. Yeah, and as much as you would like to beat their head in, unfortunately, they deserve a trial. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying they're going to get there in one piece. I'm just saying <laughs> they're going to get a trial. A trial. <laughs> yeah. This dude's probably he's 20 years old. Personally, I don't understand the need for uniform. Why thousands? Millions of people should be lost for the sake of what? This is their country. They have many parties. They can sort themselves out, figure out how to live their own lives. They can choose the government they want. Our presence here can be considered a mistake. And that's a great place to end off yeah right there i have so much to say but do you have anything to say uh all i was gonna say if uh is if anybody wants to go ahead and clip that and then make some memes out of it you will get all of the likes but i i really have nothing to say on it go go ahead because i'm just sort of sitting here like well fuck me (laughs) <laughs> no, because that's super reflective of what's happening like now and what has been happening for the past 20 years in the Middle East of just how our intervention, like, why are we there? Like, I, I get it. I get it. There is a humanitarian uh, crisis going on, especially right now in Afghanistan. And it's like, you've seen the tweets, you've seen the the YouTube videos of just like mm-hmm. news networks saying like, oh, this is what happens when the U.S. pulls out because we're a peace, we're a peace force over there. Yeah. And it's like, what, are we going to stay there forever? And famously, there's a clip of, I think, Lindsey Graham just saying, yeah, just stay there forever. But these people, I get it. Like, us pulling out, they're subjected to the Taliban and Mm -hmm. their rule. But Mm -hmm. we had no right to be there in the first place. And we've caused it, too, geopolitically. (laughs) And this this was inevitable. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, one thing that really needs to be kept in mind is anybody that wants to criticize the withdrawal 
uh, remember, just remember these things. If they're cri criticizing the hastiness, you, you can uh, have a conversation with them. That's totally fine. If they're criticizing the fact that we're withdrawing, you need to take them to task and tell them no. Well, just show them this fucking documentary and be like, this is why we're losing. And number three, all of the talking heads on the media that are shaming this, again, are making money keeping people there. So we don't need to make any billionaires any more money. Especially off of the backs of regular Americans who uh, got duped into serving their country. Mm -hmm. And that's that's kind of a hard thing for me to say because watching this watching this over the last couple couple weeks, uh, especially since it's been more prolific in the news, it's been a few months in development. Um, it is it is Vietnam again, and I'm just sort of like, I'm just I, I need to reach out to my brothers and sisters and be like, hey, are are you okay? Mm -hmm. Because it's, uh, we, we do not need to be there anymore. And we, it, the amount of money that we spent there, the amount of time, the amount of lives we spent there, we would have never needed to argue about coronavirus. It would have been taken care of. So, and that, that is just the, uh. That's the snowflake on the tip of the fucking dick of the iceberg. And speaking of icebergs, did you guys know there's uh there's a hole? There's a hole. There's a hole where? Oh there's a hole, there's a hole. There's a hole in Shani's tit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we gotta watch your I'm video. Still here. I'm still here. No, I was just like like alright. <laughs> but what's in that hole? Oh there's some pus, there's some pus. This puts a hole in the hole in Shani's tit. Ew, guys, help me. Help gross. me, guys. Help me, guys. <laughs> I I don't have the uh, donation link up, so I can't, <laughs> I can't tell you to pay me to stop. I can, however, tell you what's in that puss. It's a hair. Oh, gross. There's a hair. There's a hair. There's a hair in the puss. The puss in the hole in the hole in Shani's tit. Ooh. Not having it, man. I don't know why you brought this up. <laughs> well... <laughs> All right, let's see. This is today. Or I guess last another, night for over there. Another Saigon moment. Chaotic scenes at Kabul International Airport. No security, none. Yeah. yeah of course. Motherfuckers are trying to leave. They're fleeing for their lives. The Taliban. Like The Taliban is coming for them. I would be doing the same thing. And all of this, these MATVs. All of those. Those, those are the vehicles. Those are going to be uh, probably just left there. And uh, I guess good luck to all those folks. I don't know what else to say. Other than this is a horrible situation and well, maybe the uh, Afghan army should have not fled. But then again, you can't I, I heard reports of people who were getting oh it was, uh, it was the article I read yesterday it was talking about um, the police uh, station that only got like a box of moldy potatoes as their rations and that's the point where they were just like okay we give up that's it we're done and they just sort of like left in the in the middle of the night and let it get overran so this does not surprise me. Sorry if I'm like cold or callous, but this, yeah, this is horrible. But at the same time, what the fuck do you expect? Mm -hmm. Like the the biggest problem is the fact that there's people all over the tarmac and that planes can't leave in that instance. So I don't know. I don't know what your thoughts on it are. What are the civilian thoughts on? On this particular video, at least. What are the civvy thoughts? Yeah, the, the civvy thoughts. Oh, the civvy thoughts. Right. Do, do you say civvy, or do you know people who say civvy? 
No, 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 no. Uh, you, you go out in your civvies, so it would be like your civilian clothes. So mm-hmm. I've never heard anybody call a civilian a, a civvy. It's okay. just like, falls under, oh yeah, the civilians. That's about it. All right. But this is definitely what the video describes, and in, like in Saigon, the, the Vietnamese villagers were just trying to get on a helicopter, just one lone helicopter. Yep. It's just this literally the same thing, but with um, airplanes. Yeah. They're just trying to flee. They're trying to get the fuck mm-hmm. out of there. And I've already seen videos uh, from Greece of people fleeing over the border as well, and it's going to continue. It, it the same thing I said yesterday was you know, look, this is going to continue. It's going to be the same thing we saw in Iraq with ISIS because ISIS is mm-hmm. kind of joined forces with the Taliban. It's going to get worse. The military equipment that they are gaining. Don't worry about it. Um, they don't have the proper infrastructure to. Uh, to like supply and maintain an air force so all of those helicopters are going to be scrapped down for the most part so yeah the technology the equipment the taxpayer money all of that money that got funneled into there it's gone but you know what as far as like them using it against us we we invented it we have a counter that's mm-hmm. all i'm gonna say but uh do you have any anything more on that because uh, if if not we can get into a, we can take a quick break and a quick riley break and riley blake yeah riley blake <laughs> and uh get into some infomercials so let's see let, let me see what i got do you have a do you have anything cool uh cool to watch anything you want to watch uh in in between uh not the not that i know of at the moment Mm. i'm just looking forward to what we got for stream nostalgia okay because i want to i want to play like someone else's stuff but i also don't want to play uh Something like I like I got like tasting history and stuff like that, like professional mm-hmm. channels. You know what I'm saying? Because I get, we could do Shaney Rev all the fuck time. <laughs> That's too easy. Like doing that with I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what pops up here. Joe has passed. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, uh, Shaney's father has passed away. It's confirmed. He's gone. He's gone. So I'm not gonna talk shit about Shani, but I will talk shit about Rev. All day, every day. If you guys want me to do that, but not today, because it's stream nostalgia. Uh, here, uh, what? Uh, well, I wanted to put on where Willie. We'll put on uh, where Willie went. This is uh, from Pie Parrot. If you guys are not subscribed to Pie Parrot's channel, go ahead and subscribe. Woo! So that's probably a little loud. That was a little loud to me. And enjoy this uh, little story. I, I myself am going to be right back, uh, and I'm sure Rav will too. And we'll yeah, get into some. Gotta go drain the lizard, you know. <laughs> Whoa, hey, yeah. hey. How about, how about dinner and a movie first, man? Like, <laughs> oh, for you know, wine and dine yeah, before yeah. before this. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> hey, my, <laughs> I I don't bleach my cloaca for anybody. I'm just saying. Uh. Like, <laughs> So, you're a lucky bean. All right. <laughs> Enough of the gay shit. <laughs> And he lived inside Mr. Brown. He lived inside Mr. Brown with 300 God million damn up spare at the same address. At school, Willie wasn't very good at sums. 
but she was very good at swimming. And so was Butch. If there are 300 million sperm in the race, how many will you have to beat to win the egg? The teacher asked. Ten, said Willie. He wasn't very good at sums, but he was very good at swimming. Soon it would be time for the great swimming race. So Willie practised every day. But so did the other 300 million sperm. And so did Butch. But there was only one prize. It was a beautiful egg and it lived inside Mrs Brown. At last the day of the great swimming race arrived and the teacher gave them all a pair of goggles. A number and two maps. The first map showed inside Mr Brown. The second showed inside Mrs Brown. That very night, Mr and Mrs Brown joined together and the teacher cried, Go! And the great swimming race began. Willie swam with all his strength and so did Butch. Willie swam as his life depended on it. Butch was catching up. How much further did Willie have to go? He didn't know. He wasn't very good at sums. But he was the best at swimming. Hooray! The egg was lovely and soft and Willie burrowed all the way in until he disappeared. And then something strange happened. Something wonderful. Something magical. Something inside began to grow. It grew and grew until it grew bigger than the egg. And soon it grew bigger than Mrs Brown's tummy. So Mrs Brown's tummy began to grow. And it grew and it grew until the baby was born. It was a little girl. They called her Edna. But where had Willie gone? Who knows? But when Edna grew into a little girl and she went to school, she found that she wasn't very good at sums. But she was very good at swimming. The end. <laughs> Yes, um, Miss Miss Parrot, Miss Pie Parrot. Um, quick question. I don't know if Rev, you were listening. Uh, I just came back right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have wired headphones. That's why. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, why do sperm need goggles? Hmm. I don't know. Please, somebody in the somebody in the chat, answer me that. They need go uh they wear goggles ugh fuck how do I say it? um <laughs> sperm wear goggles to gargle my marbles <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, okay you said that out loud so whatever <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of been my uh hang on last one here I think it's my line. I got one more actually um, it's kind of in my uh, go-to for people who say like really dumb shit especially on like the Prager you crowd what's going on CMC how you been yes oh so they can see where they're going Duh. I can't do it. <laughs> well I I I I found you through pie parrot so ask her <laughs> uh, Oh, anyway. and for for Mago's thing, like so you can see where they're going, so they yeah. can see what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Again, um, shit, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are we talking about? Uh, food. Oh, okay, food and kitchen infomercials. 
Not these. What was I saying? I got off track. I hate losing my train of thought. <laughs> mango. Uh, oh, mango. Mango. Mango's peach. Speaking of speaking of peaches, did you know that uh, <clears throat> the chunk from the Goonies? No, not not that chunk. The the chunk, the the chunk on the hair and the hair and the pus oh, and the pus and the oh. hole and the hole and shiny stat. Ew, gross. Uh, Don't do that again. Let's not talk about the flea. All right. <laughs> so I I actually have. Like I said, two playlists of shit. And the one thing I actually wanted to look at was the clever tongs. Because this actually looks dumb as shit. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can really send this playlist to you uh, or not. But uh, if there's any anything here that catches your fancy, let me know. The tongs. <laughs> tongs. We're going to get them tongs. Let's watch the tongs. God. Spatulas and to wait, 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 wait. Now, nineteen ninety-five. Do tongs are they really tongs if you can't test click them? Um. Yeah. It's like it, it, I mean, that's the. Uh, <laughs> For for us lizard people, that's like the human test. You pull out a, a pair of tongs and then test click them. It means you're human. Um, easy, easy way to spot mole people. Mole people do not like the sound of clicking tongs, so they won't do it. So be forewarned. But if you can't do this with these, it's a mole people invention. Be forewarned. Do not give them your money. They will squander it on, like, Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit. They're really dumb. Anyway. Tongs have been around forever. But try to oh flip God. and food flops. Try to grip and food drops. Stop. You need Clever Tongs. The two-in-one kitchen helper that oh. flips like a spatula and grips like tongs. To grab wow, it's like, you know, like a regular spatula. The Clever yeah. Tongs is commercial kitchen quality, so it's oven and stovetop safe. Its revolutionary hammock design cradles food, making it fast and easy to grip it and flip it or scoop it and serve it. All in one amazing kitchen helper it's strong enough to hoist it in why was that so dry am I the, am I the only one like because if I if I were gonna pull pulled pork out of a out of a pan with those tongs it would just be pouring the juices would just be like pouring out of the end mm -hmm. like what lady oh she's white my bad <laughs> roast, but soft enough to grip and flip delicate fish fillets, hard or soft, big or small. Clever tongs lift what do you them think all. So far? Flip potato cakes mm. fast and easy, right in the pan. Slide and serve chicken nuggets with ease, <laughs> and topping off a uh, of egg rolls is a breeze. I get Scoop like a mountain of chicken stir fry from the pan directly to the plate, or grab. My bad. No, it's fine. Like I get wanting to like, like pick up shit from like uh, that's hot in like a pan. Like we saw yeah. earlier with like the steaks and the pulled the, pork. But if it's just like burgers. nuggets, yeah, if it's just yeah. nuggets, you can just do this with your fucking hands. Yeah, like, you it if you're serving chicken nuggets, you're probably gonna serve them like on a large plate, right? Yeah, and you'd just wear like a plastic glove. That's it. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't even do that. I'd just take the plate and it's a non stick pan, just slide them off onto there. You know, push them to one side, put some ketchup. Here you go, kids. Watch your Nickelodeon. I'm going to go get fucking... <laughs> I'm going to go get stoned and know I'm no. not your stepdad. Be, um, be, <laughs> be a better stepdad, Liz. Get them yeah. the dino-shaped dino ones. Oh, no, 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 no dude. I, I would definitely get them the dino-shaped ones. Uh, not only that, but I would... I'd like... I'd actually pizzazz them all. I'd put some seasoning on them. I don't want the kids mm -hmm. to starve. I mean, I'm, I'm banging their mom. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> doing uh, your mom. Uh, Darren N says the stars in the sky started swaying around everywhere. About five of them. Uh, other stars stayed normal. Anyone else experienced this? No. Um, no one else has experienced this, uh, except for Von Helden. I remember this. Von Helden experienced this in his backyard. Yes. 
I was you were one of three witnesses. One of them was Von Helm. I remember this story. This is very uh, uh, a lizard brain can actually retain quite a bit of uh, Von Helm's you know pathetic steel brain. It's like pig iron more like, more so. But anyway. Ground beef and place it perfectly <laughs> inside the taco shell without missing a morsel. Removed. Grab and lift a whole bundle of asparagus. It's probably there. You can easily see stat satellites, satellites, and you can also see um, meteors very clearly at the beach. Very little light pollution. Asparagus spheres right from the pot, or scoop, they lift, and stars. serve an amazing Philly cheesesteak in seconds. Clever Tongs is the handy two-in-one helper you need to grip and flip that king-sized ribeye with ease, and then flip and serve a mouth-watering grilled cheese. Scoop and flip delicate eggs. Yo, somebody tell me, somebody tell me what's wrong with what they just did. Come on, that's, I, I that know. steak's too dry. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the. The, the tons, what they do with the tons. Oh, they cross contaminated. Yes. They put <laughs> that fucking raw ass steak onto the grilled cheese. And you know what, you know what the best part about it is? Instead of it just being tongs like this, you have webbing around it. So that's just an increase in surface area for bacteria, bacteria. To, to be on. Wow. Did Shani make this? <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't pass it by her if she had it, like in her drawer. No, not at all. If if she did, it would. Well, they probably left it at that fucking nice ass apartment. So. Turn breakfast meats, flip the flapjacks, and then scoop and serve the potatoes with perfection. Yeah, and it would all probably taste like fucking soft boiled egg. Ew, dog shit, because it's all cross contaminated. Like I don't, <laughs> you know. That might work for me as a single dude, but if I'm serving people, I'm... Fuck. I mean, even myself single, I wash my hands all the time. Wash everything. Just making those uh, pork things the other night. The pork riblets. Oh, oh yeah, those man, look those. good. Oh, dude, they're so good. I, mean, I wish I could share them. They're so fucking delicious. Yeah, same here. Like, the food that I post in the food channel, like, I wish I could share with oh, you guys. Oh, Dude, that ceviche. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Especially you were like, yeah, we made it after work and I'm just sharing it with the coworkers. Holy fuck. After a long day like that, I just... I, dude, I would have fucking destroyed that shit <laughs> in, a, in a second. And I, I would have... wouldn't have mind giving you the fucking... Uh, the, oh, dude, these pork... Because um, pork loins were buy one, get one free. So I spent 20 bucks and got like 40 bucks worth of meat. Mm -hmm. And then I just cut the uh, pork loin in half and stripped it uh, uh, horizontally and then made it into like strips. Uh, what was it? Uh, ginger soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic, chili powder, black pepper, a little bit of sriracha, and... I think that's about it and then i just like slow roasted on the on the grill until they were tender mm. and put mac and cheese and some veg with it the veg is all frozen it's just craft mac and cheese but you know got <laughs> it kind of takes away but at the same time <laughs> oh man i and yeah mango oh my god mango's baking holy shit look the baking let alone the pizzas oh I even want to try like Mango's ba like baked goods. Like, uh, she has no idea how much I want them, and to have it with a glass of no, seriously, like, and to have it with like a glass of milk too, especially when she like she makes cookies and pies and stuff like that. Oh, dude! Everybody, uh, pie party at Mango's. <laughs> Bring your own milk. <laughs> oh man, yeah, for sure, dude. I would absolutely love. And, and the fact, what blows my mind is the fact that she just like whips it together, and she's just like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna put all these cookies and make them look fucking delish." Here you go, boys. Can't have any. Um, uh, dude, Darren N says they wasn't satellites. Uh, they was in a. St they, fuck you. 
they was in a star cluster formation one minute they then they started moving in all directions and speeds not satellites the movement was fast and random even zigzagging interesting that's um that's it's the it's the same that's the that's the same thing everybody else says buddy <clears throat> so i'm gonna go ahead and said that say that didn't happen and if it did be quicker on the draw with your phone so you get it on video like there's no excuse mm -hmm. unless you're like g-man so then i then i would understand because well <laughs> g-man works off of a fucking well i think i i does anybody remember go phones <laughs> I have no fucking clue, man. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, what, like, 24? 23. Close enough. <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah. well, you're not that much younger than me. You would you would have been probably too young to have to a have cell phone. It. Yeah, because the Go phone was, like, it was, like, the one of the first burner phones. It was, like, a prepaid cell phone. I remember my brother getting me one. He's, like... He's like, you've been hanging around with a couple girls, where, so for your birthday, I got you this burner phone, and it had, like, a few hundred minutes on it, and I had, like, no money to put more minutes on I was like, fuck. <laughs> but I got, <laughs> that's, you couldn't, you can do shit on it. it. It was just, it was super basic. But nowadays, you could film yourself, and that's, well, if you want the quality, uh, if you want to see what the quality is, check out GTV Network. <laughs> tell, and tell them to cover come over to my channel i got plenty of stream labs time to, to uh discuss things with them or let them debate conv convince me conspiracies in fact that's a better idea go to gtv network and tell him to uh come to this channel and debate convince me conspiracies on uh transgender hate or transgenderism there you go uh, that, that'll be a good one. Uh, not, not drugs. Other people seen it too. I, I've been researching it. You should research like a library with books that you can read more good more often so that you can uh, be more literate. You really believe Starling is a string of satellites? LOL. What? strings of lights like like starlink moving in the sky have been seen since the 90s before starlink was invented what the fuck i believe that maybe your eyes vibrate and you're mistaking it for a conspiracy therapy <laughs> yeah i think you need some conspiracy therapy darren and you got any i'm just reading the comments because this is getting a little wild uh you got any thoughts on this on these lights in the sky if you did see it with other people then those people i'm just say it they're also full of shit <laughs> well it, it get some testimony get some that's why it's like and, it, and it's like <laughs> I, no it's like i want all i want all the people that have been here one at a time one at a time and i want to see yeah. if your stories match up neat they moved that <laughs> you that's the thing man you have to provide evidence. That's why that's why the joke is extraordinary you know, claims. Well, no, that I mean that's that's the say like extraordinary claims uh require extraordinary evidence, but not only does this sound like literally every other uh, UFO sighting like ever, oh shit mm -hmm. in the sky and they they moved apart from each other and they weren't satellites, they moved independently. Like get the fuck out of here. Uh, not only that, but it, the joke goes like, oh, aliens and cryptids like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, they they only tend to hang out in really out-of-focus areas. You know what I'm saying? So anytime mm -hmm. you pull out your camera, there's always some kind of uh, uh, obstruction or obscurity. So, yeah, I'm not going to take your word for it. I don't care what you really have to say, Darren. Ann. <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, I, I, I filmed I filmed a gnome in Mexico, on a Sweet. on a on a no, but it's on a Nokia camera. I'm sorry that the quality can't be good, but trust me, it's I, a gnome. Oh, well, I I know you. 
well enough. You created music for me, so you know what? Darren N. Rev and his gnome have more credibility than your, uh, I don't know, beach aliens. Once I see some beach aliens, uh, I'll let you know. But Rev, he told me. He was just like, yeah, I have it. What can I say? Like, look yeah. at him. He's right there. He's talking to me. Yeah, live. I'm right here. <laughs> you took photos? We'll, we'll post the fucking photos. Uh, you I'm see, pretty... like, uh, it's going to be kind of hard because, you know, the files are kind of oh, corrupted. That's right. It's one of those, like, uh, it's it's one of the lolcow things where it's like, oh, they have all the evidence, but it's on a bunch of different hard drives that they got to mm-hmm. get pulled off, you know. <laughs> the creme de la creme of that is uh fucking what's his name the my pillow guy being like we're being hacked he was like he had all this evidence and it's like oh shit where's it oh we're being hacked by china sorry i can't show you guys the evidence i didn't i didn't see that i actually didn't cover that i think uh maybe if we if we have more time if you want to come on tomorrow we might we might do that or later yeah, probably for monday mar- monday night morons <laughs> yeah i might be da- I- i'm down for for doing that i think that would be fun uh, the photos are on my channel. I can't join Discord. You can't join Discord. The photos are on your channel. You're changing your story from uh, a bunch of satellites going from a formation and being independent, to uh, independently moving in the sky to a red triangle with sparkle, sparkles and two waning orbs next to it and sparkles corkscrewing out of it. That sounds like fireworks and... Uh, Darren and blank, uh, Blaine Hoover. I'd love to see the pics, Darren. It would be super cool if you posted them. That's mm-hmm. convenient. You can't join Discord. Of course you can't join Discord. Uh, if you can't join Discord and you end up in my Discord, uh, I'll kick you out of it. How about that? Fair enough. Too easy. That's kind of like, you know, <laughs> it's easy to draw hard lines. Uh, it's impossible to click your channel since the new update, Darren. Yeah, it's really impossible. It, it sucks. Mm-hmm. Hey! Look at this. I have a search bar. Hmm. Darren Ann. Is that the one? One subscriber? Hmm. Videos. Darren Ann. No, those Mm. those are Porsches. Or Porsche. Porsches. Porsche. Someone told me it was Porsche. 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 And he has a... He's a darker D. <laughs> you can filter out with like channels. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm probably doing it wrong. What you were thinking? Channel, no, isn't like there's a there's okay, a like specific. when you search it, you can like mm-hmm. put filters into it. Oh, I have a better idea. Darren Ann's not important. (laughs) Uh, Filter channels, go search option. I don't know, man. I don't know if you're really that worth my time. Uh, I have a better idea. Um, What if one of the mods could would be willing to to take care of that? I feel bad like relegating that shit to you, but like relegating delegating that shit to you. But uh, yeah, if you can find that and find me some space aliens, that'd be cool. If you if they're like micro weenie picks, that would be hilarious too. Send them to Rav, only to Rav. (laughs) If you think I'm trolling, you're wrong. Then you should use proper grammar. Uh, you need a capital I. Hold on, check it out. So you need a capital I on the on the if. You also need a capital I and apostrophe right here on the uh, the I'm, and then you need a comma right here on the trolling, and then you're wrong, and you should probably put some kind of exclamation point, because otherwise it sort of seems like you're you're just yelling at me, and you're you're you're, you're yelling at the world. Anyway, where were we? Enough dismantling this motherfucker. Uh, sorry about that. So we we saw the clever chong, clever chongs. Mm-hmm. 
And then, do you want to see? Is there anything here that that's catching your eye? Let's see. Keep going, keep Ooh. going. Oh, the brownie one. I want to see the brownie. Brown, pr perfect brownies. Yeah, Ooh. perfect brownies. You cut. Rip. How do how do we apply an ice cube tray design to brownies? <laughs> I don't know. Don't. You tell me. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Care, but your brownies never turn out square. And when they're stuck... I rushed through that too, and, uh... I, I pretty much dismantled you with proper grammar, so... It's no excuse. You're totally Everybody else is Russian. Luck. Need a hand? Now there's perfect or brownie at least pan. Eastern the European. new non-stick way to bake, slice, and serve perfect brownies. You try it. Just pour in your favorite batter, insert the divider, and bake. Yum. 18 chocolatey brownies sliced all at once. The reason? Whoa. Unique design and durable I mean... non-stick coating. <laughs> Not even 18 marshmallow treats will stick. And look, the bottom and sides separate. So anytime it goes on this rack, Perfect Brownie becomes the sweetest party serving tray. Cool! <laughs> hey man. Hey man. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Darren can't post a link to his channel because he's not a mod. And if he is a mod, then I don't know why. Oh, I'll take that off. Yeah, he's not a mod. So you can't post a link to his channel, so I'm not going to make you a mod. <laughs> Just post a link to your channel. Get the fuck out of here. But, yeah, I... Honestly, dude, like... Uh, I cut metal for a living. So, like, the amount of material that's actually, like, removed from here... That's about what you would remove with a knife. <laughs> this might work, dude. I don't know about, like, the, the removable tray shit, like this but i don't know what do you think if it's removable wouldn't that mean it like leaks a little like yeah, putting their batter in that's that's one of the things i was gonna say like they, they were like put your batter in and then put the the thing in well like there's gonna be like a tiny little layer of uh -huh. stuff underneath which i guess is okay because well it's gonna bake anyway it's just gonna be a little just a little crispy you know, you just break it off, but this here, this is the part that I would worry about. Is like it leaking out underneath yes. and then <laughs> dripping down. Then go to the Discord if you want to post it. I'm not going to give you mod privileges so you, that you can post your link. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Serve especially, crazy, to some, especially to generic alien bullshit. Sorry you have to... Uh, address this this guy in the chat but if you want to say anything to him too go ahead by all means <laughs> i mean dude I'm <laughs> he he's glad I, I always keep saying this over and over again liz but it's so true like this mo this guy's glad that he's not in a ideology chat because that he, mm. he would his ass would have been gone like the, the moment he started like you know saying that aliens <laughs> are real yeah like okay extra extraterrestrial life real Totally, 100% cool. Aliens visiting Earth and doing this crazy shit, especially when it's the same thing over and over again to people who have no way to collect evidence. Bullshit. Like, what, what, what sense does that make? Am I wrong? <laughs> and, like... <laughs> Uh, the, I've never been in the Heideology chat, but I can only imagine that if, if there were, uh, more people in this chat, they would, well, the, Blaine and Mango are both taking them to, to fucking task right now. The link of it, you just have to put a space between, uh, dot and com, dude. It's really not that hard. If you don't do it, then we all assume you're full of shit. Of course. <laughs> can't post yeah. a link of course you can't post a link because you're full of shit brownies for birthdays marble Some swirl sense. for graduation okay. or delicious double fudge brownies oh, at your very okay. own bake sale Cha -ching. oh no someone ate all the edges again the solution this patent pending design which bakes each brownie separately so they're moist inside and chew i learned this far too late do you, do you ever uh he said patent pending you know what that means yeah. Fuck. I honestly do not. 
it, it just well they've they have filed a patent for this but it has not been approved okay which means they don't is, own it correct so it's like patent pending so it's just like hey don't try and steal our idea because we're still in the process but we can still sell it to you and so if you sell it to you and you try and duplicate it that means that you're stealing the idea technically but if mm -hmm. the patent like falls through and you've bought this thing and you're just like oh yeah well i can make this better and then repatent and make it better and get the patent <laughs> basically so it's kind of a risk on their part on the uh on this they probably put all of their um assets in this child's name like the business you know how you do it for a canary or something like that oh yeah sure and then <laughs> or a dog <laughs> is it oh uh, uh, yeah that's what it is c montgomery burns it stands for canary montgomery burns <laughs> you eat outside if you can make ice cubes, you can use perfect Wait. brownie pan. Blaine, are you now, there? Stack them for ice cream sandwiches or serve warm banana split brownies. Keep an eye out for your DMs in Discord, by the way. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, oh, a, it's yeah. a, to Blaine because uh, I'm not going to get this guy. Done, the... Let's just keep watching this, but I'm going to send you guys, uh, you know, his proof. I got you. Low price of just $19.95. And it's not just for brownies. Make fluffy cakes, awesome bar cookies, or grandma's apple pie squares. But hold on. Smart shoppers receive these decorative stencils to make festive treats, like flags on the 4th of July, or transform any dessert into a work of art. Yours free. You get the complete perfect brownie This is brownie the kind of shit my mom's designer. kitchen. Is cluttered up with. I'm not gonna lie. Don't delay. Order. I'm talking about like the the shapes and stuff, but like this, mm -hmm. the kitchen gadgets. My mom doesn't really have a lot of that. She has like the old old Cuisinarts that have that have those like really good motors that are never gonna quit, but at the same time, like you you can't use it because it takes up the same amount of space as your stove. <laughs> so, or a, a four slice toaster. Oh my god, or two slice toaster was it? Yeah, it was two slice toaster. So we we have multiple two slice toasters at my mom's house. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we're going to. If I can bring this, uh, probably straight. Hmm. Hi, Mark Gill here with the Chop Magic. You're gonna love the way this beauty can chop, mince, slice, and dice in just seconds. Dude. Chopping vegetables the old Do you eat your kiwi with or without the hair? If I'm at home without the hair, but if I have it just like with me, like the whole thing. Then I just cut it into fours and I just eat it as an orange. Okay. I thought you were going to say you like just go to town. You're just like, eh, just pop it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've never, I, I just like, I, I've i never known anyone to eat the kiwi like with the peel on it. Because mm -hmm. what my grandma used to do is she would, she would peel the kiwi, cut it in slices and like put sugar on it for us when we were real little. And I realize how bad that is for me now, but a kiwi now, I'll just slice it in half. I'll, I'll just take a spoon, slice it in half, and then scoop it out and just, oh, dude, I love me some kiwis. <laughs> but uh, uh, let me know if you agree. I fucking absolutely 100% despise and cannot even try to try to even like strawberry kiwi flavoring. Like, um, like in uh, Arizona. Yeah, like <laughs> any any kind of uh, drink or any basically a drink, like Arizona I, or anything of the like. I guess yeah. that's where we differ because I actually really do like strawberry kiwi flavor. Oh, I can't. It's just there's just <laughs> something about it that makes me just. I just feel like it's uh, I don't know, because I can do like the the banana, you know, like banana laffy taffy that flavor. Uh, can, Mango, come do, on. <laughs> yeah, she agrees, thank she agrees you. with you. She agrees thank with you. Thank you. <laughs> it's so gross. It's just so off-putting. It's so it's overly sweet. It's just 
it just so it tastes so artificial and like uh, but like uh, again i don't know the the banana flavor from laffy taffy and like grape soda i can have a grape soda every once in a while but like i can i can like those flavors but not like mm -hmm. fucking i just it's ugh, ugh. how do you what's wrong with you man <laughs> I kind of have, I kind of have a sweet tooth. Okay, that that that, that makes a little bit more sense. I mm -hmm. I guess, but at the same time, like I don't know. I I like savory stuff too. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'll take uh, I'll take uh, you know pepperoni over the Reese's cups any day. Well, not any day. Actually, you know what? I had some mint Milanos. I fuck, dude. I don't Ooh. have any sweets. I should have. I went to the store. Oh well, we're gonna have to wait. Um. But anyway, yeah, strawberry kiwi sucks. Uh, it's official in the chat according to myself and Mango and Rev. Can munch away on his Doritos all he wants, directly into the microphone. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Actually, actually, you know what? I apologize for that. That is actually pretty. No. Not putting. However, it depends. Do you like ASMR? No. Yeah, me. I fucking hate it. I think it's it. Besides the fact, bes face. besides the fact that it feels like they're invading my personal space, it's just lazy content. Yeah, I. That's a. That is the perfect description of ASMR. Like it's I up. Fucking... It's up there with uh, YouTube reaction videos. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay not in stream form i'm talking about the people that are like you know what i'm gonna watch a whole music video and just sit like this oh yeah yeah i know what you mean okay i no no no. i, I totally know what you mean but uh i i've seen those come into my my feed a ton where it's just like <clears throat> it's usually just some some black dude and he's like reacting to the fuck was that is reacting to uh, like a set sixties or seventies song, and it's like, mm -hmm. has this not been played on the radio continuously for the last like thirty or forty fucking years? Mm -hmm. And now you're sitting in front of me, just like, oh yeah, oh I didn't realize this. That's a good baseline. Like no, fuck you. Put something into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But no, I just had to take a quick quick jab. And those channels get monetized compared to these, this one. Oh yeah, of course, because we're doing real shit around this bitch, <laughs> motherfucker. And uh, they, what was it? YouTube doesn't like free speech, according to PragerU. So we got that to com compete with. And yes, the stars move. Call me crazy all you want. You're a crazy motherfucker, but I might have you on my side if you got evidence. I moved everywhere erratically around. Five whole stars. Big distances back and forth. Anyways, I'm out. Good night. Oh, man, you're not going to stay because I, I saved your uh, I saved your video. I'm going to watch it. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. That's not the one. That's not the one. What the fuck happened? Paste. Huh, that's weird. Whatever. I'll copy and paste it again. I don't really care if you fuck off or not. I just wanted to, uh... I just wanted you to be here while we made fun of you. 26. 26 seconds. Alright. wants to take that one I mean it's a spacecraft picture that's all I'll say uh, <laughs> irrefutable is the only uh, it, that's all I can really say there's 
There was a triangle. Darren he was Drayton. right. Where is the where's triangle? triangle. Did you... I'm ignorant and rude? I am not ignorant. You cunt. Sorry, you, you... No, it's not ignorant. You ignorant. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. I can't be a fucking. I. I can't do the hood rat thing. I've been no. really like trying to do accents, and I've been really bad at them. You took photos. Cool. I take photos of all kinds of things. You guys want to see some cool photos I took? Check this out. It's not photos. It's actually it's a, a series of photos called video, and most cameras can do them. Guess which camera I did this on. <laughs> It's actually really fucking loud. My bad. <laughs> there we go. Wait, guess guess which camera I did this on? On a Nokia. Camera. <laughs> 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 hey, it's actually this one. This is my Samsung. It's the same phone. I just nice. Put Dude, my it's probably, phone in a probably better than my. Definitely better than my piece of shit right here. <laughs> Hey, it's you'd be surprised. I mean, my phone is beat to shit. I mean, I didn't clean off the lens or anything. I just put it in the tripod and stuck it in the water, and that's what we got. So yeah, that's uh, it's it's really difficult to get steady video. And I did this at what like nine in the morning. Yeah, you were out like in that. the woods. Yeah, it was fucking sweet, dude. Should have done it today, but I couldn't. There's so many things. Uh, man, that's that's another thing. If you guys like more Woods content, if you want to see more streams, both literal and uh, digitally, go ahead and like this. Get more people in here. Get more subscribers. And I'll be able to stream from the Woods. If I get 1,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. I can stream from the Woods. How, the, how fun would that be? We can does, talk a about shit. does a lizard shit in the Woods? Only a thousand subscribers would find out. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So people who who have come who are watching that have come across this after it's gone live, do your best to subscribe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Come back in. Tell people. To, uh, tell other people to subscribe and be like, dude, I want to find out if a lizard shit in the shits in the woods, and then <laughs> see. Then send me like the block notification. So I can laugh. <laughs> You're like, uh, why would you do that? But anyway, oh, that's a nice stream. You guys like this stream? This is a good stream. Do you guys like the stream? Like the stream. Like, like the stream, the stream in the stream. stream. Yes. Yeah. Like the streamception. I didn't know what font to go with. I I thought this was a lot. <laughs> Comic Sans. <laughs> I th yeah. I, Actually, like, blaze past a, a Comic Sans type. I was like, yeah, no. There was yeah, some no. really, really fucking weird bad ones. I was like, oh, I should do that just because it would look like shit. People would be like, what the fuck is, what does that even say? It's like wingdings, <laughs> you know? But I, I didn't realize this was, this one's not as great. Also, um, semi-spooky shit. Ooh, yeah, it's spooky there time, guys. Go. I know it's August, but for, well, for me personally, it practically feels like uh, October. Yeah, o October fifteenth, general strike nationwide. Oh yeah, that too. Hey guys, support the strike because absolutely, this is the fu for workers. You know, workers' rights, labor rights. Every important. every everybody should be saving their money and trying to just gather their friends together and be like, you know what? We all need to just walk out for a while and tell these people to fuck off. Because if we all do it, they can't stop us all. Yeah. And what if you it get just has to be peaceful? Just stay at home for mm -hmm. a fucking week and watch industry shut down. Watch watch them cave mm -hmm. after a week. Um. CMC says she's gonna uh, stream, stream from, from her, her truck. truck. Sweet, that'd be nice. awesome. Bill says it collects energy from the sun and also shields solar flare interference. I took a picture of the tri- Yeah, I am an asshole. Welcome to the stream, you dumb fuck. God damn. First of all, I, it, how, should I be mean to this person? How mean should I be? Well, it's up to you, man. You're a grown-ass man. You do. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> You decide. 
I'd be really mean because you're a really bad troll, Darren, and you suck at, like, one, you suck at video making. Two, you suck at collecting evidence. Three, you you suck at, um, well, providing conspiracy theories because it's the same thing, like, over and over again. Like I said before, I, I'm just reiterating myself. And yeah, cool, a triangle. A triangle where? Where's the context? What is the context of this? There's this triangle in the sky. And now you're showing me uh, a heat signature of uh, some kind of craft? That's a what satellite. What craft did this? A satellite? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Satellites have heat signatures because, well, um, that's physics and, you know, it's kind of how things work. And this looks like it's off of YouTube that you just recorded. What are we looking at? What am I, what is this? It's a photo of a triangle. Do you want me to take a picture of a triangle? Should I take a picture of a triangle and show it to you? I can make a triangle. Watch this. Don't even, don't even have to. Oh, shit. Illuminati fucking confirmed. Look at that. Darren N. Thank you. See? Illuminati confirmed. Right outside your door. They're coming for you. They're coming for you, Darren N. They were just confirming that they were outside. And I just have to give them the thumbs up. There you go. There you go. They got the thumbs up. See ya, bud. Peace out. Yeah, you thought you thought they were triangles in the sky? Wait till there's Darren N flying into the sun. Thank you, Elon Musk, and your Illuminati ties. Oh, man. I hope every everybody gets their dues for that one. Did you get your dues this month? Your Elon dues? Yes, you know Okay. It. Okay, good. That's great. I, you know supporting the second riches and, yeah yeah and and the uh, illuminati and just just for that little bit of cheddar really helps but uh anyway what was this asshole talking about oh he's an idiot that's right yeah a a blaine <laughs> says to you know not be mean so okay I'm so Mark cool it. I and blaine and, Bl and blaine's a peach you know you cut rip blaine Blaine is bees. Blaine is really sweet. I, and mm -hmm. if Blaine, uh, my two cents, don't be mean. Okay. I'll stop being mean. How about that? I mean, no, nobody block or time out Darren N. Darren N is more than welcome to be in here and spout off whatever he wants. But Darren N, you come in here and you spout off whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna cap that fucking hole. You dig? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be pleasant about it. I'm a, my my mouth is dry. Let's just say and that. Care, but your brownies never turn out square. Oh, and when they're stuck, this. you. Yeah, sorry, Ooh, the chop me. chop magic. Chop magic. Yeah, let's move on. Darren Anzer. Hi, the... Mark Gill here with the Derailing. chop magic. You're gonna love the way this beauty can chop, mince, slice, and dice in just seconds. Chopping vegetables the old way takes forever. It's tough work and such a mess. Well, not Shanty knives, magic. dude. <laughs> Dull ass knives. Yeah, dude. If your knife is sharp, you won't have to fucking worry about that. Like I, for instance, I was, I sharpened my knife, my good chef's knife, and then I couldn't get through that pork. I was like, why can't I get through it? Well, you have to use that that stick, the knife sharpener, and you take mm -hmm. what's called the burl off. Take that sharp, that that rough edge off, so you can actually cut smoothly. And I did that, and it worked out very well. And I wouldn't need a fucking chop magic to put my pork loin through. <laughs> actually, question: Who's willing to buy me a chop magic so I can put an entire pork loin through it? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> uh, uh, hey, I'm, I'm just looking at the camera. I'm looking at the crowd, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's, let's see, like, a whole, like, onion, in a whole onion in no one odor, second. No tears. Oh, Julienne shit. Julienne pepper squash and zucchini in just three seconds. You can That's julienne those peppers, man. other choppers cry. It's even strong enough to go through solid sweet potatoes, like a warm knife through butter, yet easily chops delicate tomatoes to perfection. Now make fresh egg salad, healthy coleslaw, or delicious party dips in no time. The secret? 12 ultra-sharp stainless steel Whoa. precision blades that guarantee uniform results every time. Yeah, but how do you it's sharpen so them if easy, they go dull? Can... I was just about to ask the same exact question. Do you have to, like, buy from them at a fucking upcharged price? I mean, probably. 
it, it's oh it's God. probably got some warranty where you got to go you got to jump through hoops like you have to call somebody what like, so like uh, the know. warranty like i wouldn't even trust the warranty if it was printed on a fucking toilet paper yeah i <laughs> the, the, like kitchen gadgets like this it's going to be in a drawer that's why it's it's meant mm -hmm. to do it's meant to be used every once in a while and this these things are it doesn't fucking last but they're advertising it as that you can use it all the time like it's supposed to replace oh, your yeah. whole like knife set no nothing can replace your knife set dude. exactly <laughs> there's, there's literally nothing in your kitchen that can replace your knife set it doesn't matter but like this thing yeah that, that would be cool it would be convenient but it would have to be stainless steel like it, you would have to be able to like switch out the blades and stuff and at that point it's a machine and it's not even worth it you might as well just have a knife you dig oh um darren ends uh you try stay a while yeah yeah you're welcome here anyways i'm out good night work tomorrow take care i hope darren uh as much shit as i gave you uh, i'll I, uh, you're welcome here anytime. Sorry, I was reading your comments. Uh, you are welcome here anytime, and we're we're not gonna block you because you're not an asshole. I mean, you're just mm. uh, well, you just have a, a different view on certain topics. But I appreciate that you uh, you stop by, and hopefully you come by and you uh, get some sleep and are able to shove off to work tomorrow well, well rested. That would be the most important thing. And everybody else, uh, give Darren and uh, Darren and uh, aliens in the chat for Dan Darren and so Gray's they, in the chat. Yeah, Gray's in the chat for Darren and so so they can uh, chill out and uh, relax, get some good sleep. But anyway, let's let's slap all chop the, the rest of this shit. And fixins for a supersized salad bar in a fraction of the time. Why hassle with a knife and messy cutting board? Chop Magic's catch container keeps your kitchen clean and doubles as a six cup mixing and measuring container. Snap on the dicing blade and instantly prepare fresh like fruit one salad, serving. zesty salsa, or a mountain of garlic without it sticking to your hands. And look, everything stores inside, which makes it the ultimate space saver. Plus, it's all dishwasher safe. Now, during this exclusive TV-only offer, you can get Chop Magic for just nineteen ninety-five. Call now, and as a bonus, <laughs> yeah. we'll the magic you number is nineteen ninety-five. Yeah, so we gotta, we gotta start uh, asking for the prices before mm. we <laughs> before it comes up. Yeah, I've seen these all over the place. The tortilla forming things, the taco bowl, taco shell, taco yeah, taco salad, taco bowl. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Right, Trump's favorite Mexican food. Bake and create delicious. I love Mexican bowls. food. Use Chop Magic to load. <laughs> Even taco bowls. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm trying to talk as Trump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I love, I, lo I love Mexican bowls, which means I love Mexican people. Yeah. What? <laughs> what did he say? Oh yeah, he's like they served them in Trump Tower, and it's like, uh -huh. dude, that's like some of the most American shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. You've never been to a taqueria, Trump. I oh, now I'm getting on taquerias. So I don't want to get Load on them there, up with all your hungry. favorite <laughs> toppings free. But I'm not stopping there. Caller click now Please and get don't. a second chop magic free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Yep, you get it all. Two chop magics and two perfect tortilla pans. A whopping fifty dollar value, all yours for just nineteen ninety five. Don't Whoa. delay. Order today. Let me get my credit card uh, right now. Oh, do it. <laughs> Uh, send me the send me the second one. You don't need it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like if one breaks, I got the other one. Hey, um, <laughs> it was a rough economy. <laughs> well, All this right. was around the you know the recession, so. Oh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. All right, do you, do, we we all gotta we all gotta survive. You pretty much guarantee that most infomercial gadgets are nineteen ninety five with five dollars shipping and handling. What you should do is take a shot every time they say but wait there's more oh i wish that would that would require me actually like going and getting a bottle of something if we were if we were to watch this i'd be down if rav is down 
Hell yeah, yeah. I'd buy myself a bottle of uh, Patron and shit. Oh shit. Rev's gonna be fucking sitting here just like. <laughs> Toss <Tough> Mayor's <laughs> bitch. Toss <Tough> Mayor's <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it, it's funny that, like, on stream, you can't, like, go full on. You're just sort of like, uh, I'm gonna. You know, sing it out. I'm just gonna say it. But when you actually like get the music behind you, you're just like, "Fuck, uh, I a bitch." It's fucking awesome. Oh, uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, let's learn yes, how to not wash my balls some more. <laughs> mm. Let's um. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, sorry. Mm. Excuse me. Let me let me clean that up. Sorry yeah, well, yeah. Why, why don't you Sorry. why don't you three six mafia and, and slob my knob? Oh, oh like corn on the cob. Corn okay. on the cob. Yeah, well, corn on the cob is uh, uh, two for four or what was it? Four for two dollars. So, mm -hmm. hope you're uh, hope you got competitive prices, at least. <laughs> All right, let's learn not how how to not cook ribs. Oh, I didn't mean to turn my cam. Back up. But actually, I'm about to jump up and turn the uh, AC on. I'm actually fucking sweating my dick off. I don't problem. The grill and family gathering. Would, you, would you guys like to see that? It's It'll be on uh, OnlyFans for seventy five ninety nine a month. I'm literally sweating my dick off, so yes, seventy five ninety nine a month is fair. If, if you're into that. Also, why are all of these people the exact same person? Hmm... I those, don't know. Though those two are the same. <laughs> I don't know I don't know who this lady is, but all of these two are the same. I mean that kid's just gonna be that kid in a little bit and then that they're these two are just the same person, just hmm. ginger swat. I don't know, they all look so pure. Oh good god. <laughs> 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 we <laughs> they're all I mean, well, I'm all I'm glad they're on one side of the table it's very yeah. <laughs> comforting <laughs> all right all right blaine I, i'm glad you're still listening um all right we're, we're gonna play a little bit more of this i gotta i gotta get up the rings that give us a thrill but most grills are too big and bulky to carry around and who wants to use that rusty old grill on the park grounds <laughs> hold on before i go i i've been uh joking back and forth with my boss uh, for probably several months about mm -hmm. like my grill and how it's kind of shitty and I want a new grill and I know the one that I want but I can't get it yet is like just outside of my fucking price range so we were talking about taking a like an angle grinder or a fucking uh, saw and just be like oh yeah just walk on over to the park and you know saw one of those grills <laughs> off of the park <laughs> out from the park and just fucking throw it in, throw it in the back of your uh back of your car and i got a fucking uh hyundai elantra hatchback so i'd just be like you know skidding around the skidding around the country roads pulling my bumper off with this 250 pound fucking <laughs> cast iron grill in the back just like oh yeah no no, this came from a friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Why does it look like every other... No, no, don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about just, it. You know, oh, that park, that one closed down. So, like, I guess they were just giving these away or whatever. No, I don't know. Is that an angle grinder? No, 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 no. That's a... Uh, that's, a that's a fucking miter saw. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. I got I to gotta use the latrine. I'm gonna let Wouldn't this it play. It'll probably just play the uh, the next you? one as well, well. Now you do. Introducing the Go Grill, the foldable portable grill that travels anywhere you go. This spacious grill this? has a five T bone. You have to clean it before you fold it. That's all I'm gonna say. Capacity. The Go Grill is so compact it folds to only 18 inches long, 13 inches wide, and just an inch and a half deep. The sleek modern design weighs just eight pounds. With the Go Grill, you can barbecue anywhere, anytime, Chat, this with anyone. This is this is 39.99. Rev, Rev, you got some competition on the street. Do I now? With those dimensions, man. <laughs> an inch and a half deep. They got you beat. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> fucking this fucking guy. Hi. Huh? Oh, oh, you think you're funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm just glad it's. I'm just glad I'm the one running this. <laughs> so you can't like 
Hopefully you don't born bomb me. Maybe I should turn you off before I go. To... No, no, no. Hopefully, hopefully you wouldn't do that. I hope not. I'll take my shirts back. I'll come over there and get those shirts back. I don't know, man. So, it's it's uh, it's got some gooch oh, juice on it. I don't know if you want it. Oh God, what the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> I know you're a fan, but be a be a fan. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I'd never mind. Do it. They're your shirts. You They're keep my them. Shirt. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay right here. I'll save the gas money. Anyway, uh, and whatever, <laughs> whatever. Now you can be the MVP to your winning team. Make your tailgate parties a delicious pregame feast, or grill a seafood delight when you go to the beach. It's a must for camping, That's a lake. or when you go RVing, and it's perfect for the boat when you go fishing. This oh my god, why would you take it on the fucking boat? tucks away almost anywhere. It's perfect when space is tight. Your go grill can make 12 burgers sizzle all at once. Or grill I don't know if you want to keep them that compact. Lunch. Maybe you're the guy that likes baby backs. The go grill can handle a full man-sized rack. The go um, grill will feed your family and all of your friends. What do you like to grill? Chicken, steak, or lobster? The list never ends. The Go Grill is the most unique grill you'll ever own. Take it anywhere you go or enjoy it at home. You might expect to pay up to $100 for a grill this versatile. But if you call now, your Go Grill is only $19.99. Uh, what the fuck? It's only 20 now, bucks. And we'll add this 11-piece stainless steel call bullshit on set. it. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's an $80 value, all for the incredible low price of only $19.99. So whether you're celebrating with family or enjoying friends at the beach, the Go Grill makes grilling easy and. What happened? Oh, that's right, it, it stopped. But yeah, <laughs> Gooch Juice Bean, uh, Gooch Juice. If you guys, if you guys don't know, which you guys probably do know, uh, I use it to describe after sitting cool? and why on their bike for like miles so upon miles. Get in the spotlight with Big Top Cupcake. Oh, I remember this one. This is a way to make colossal cupcakes every time. that are up to twenty-five times bigger. Everyone's face will light up when you make a king-size cupcake house. Grab your camera to remember those giant cupcakes your family makes together. It's so easy. Just fill with any cake mix, bake, and decorate. Wow, that jumbo cupcake looks amazing. Big Top's quick release silicone is flexible and virtually nothing sticks. And I so get a diabetes in the chat. Pops out every time, making it the ultimate party activity. Mix and match delicious flavors like strawberry and chocolate. The possibilities are endless. Look, nothing's more thrilling than a chocolate filling made easy with our magic center insert. Fill Big Tops with pudding, mousse, gelatin, even your favorite ice cream. Tiny cupcakes won't do, but 25 times bigger feeds the whole crew. With yeah, Big Top, it only takes a few quick steps. Fill, bake, and decorate. Store-bought cakes are so expensive. Metal cake mold stick and cost... <laughs> <laughs> no because blaine put blaine put a syringe in that because i'm like that no because i'm like diabetes in the chat people diabetes in the chat she's got the fucking uh what is it the the insulin yeah the insulin the fucking uh that just reminded me of uh it's always sunny in philadelphia with mac where he's oh always yeah just, he's just like Carrying around the bag of chimichangas, mm -hmm. and then he puts the insulin. He's like, "Oh yeah, you gotta check this out. Try it." <laughs> Just like pops insulin into it. in his stomach. Ah. <laughs> he's like, "Ah, yeah, that feels good. feels good." Like Fucking I used hot. to. So this commercial would come out every single time on like Cartoon Network. So I remember this. I'm yeah, because you know that this is marketed towards kids, okay. and then the kids would be going to their moms, and then it's like, "Let's get this. I want a yeah. big ass cupcakes." absolutely like oh yeah i want a big ass cup yeah we're gonna make a big ass cupcake like once and that's it <laughs> oh um uh as a as a quick are you like staring into the sun me yeah it's it's because i have a lamp that's why and if okay I turn it, if i turn and it's sun sundown's happening so i'm don't no you a light. you had a you had, you had like a lot of light on one side i just wanted to make sure you weren't like uncomfortable because i know how bad like the fucking sun coming in on on your face can be but uh that, that's all i wanted to ask just uh, i just want didn't want you to be uncomfortable but uh i'm good uh <laughs> we uh we watched this one before i remember the big ass cupcake and it's just like well if, if unless it's really actually filled with something it's gonna taste like shit it's just gonna be a big ass cake with you're gonna have to put a lot of icing and shit on there. Mm -hmm. This takes some work, man. <laughs> uh, 
But uh, I I had a couple of jokes for the uh, the other one, but I <laughs> the time has passed unfortunately. Gooch bean gooch juice. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it was. Gooch juice. I when you said uh, gooch you uh, driving around or riding around too long. Yeah. 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 I, all I thought of was uh, you ever get the grundle. Is that like swamp ass or something? Yeah, but it's like where the swamp ass, you know, it, 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 uh, the swamp ass starts to itch. It starts to, you know, you got little, little, <laughs> little dingleberries like, oh. in there. <laughs> well, no, you're not dingleberries, but you're just like, <laughs> you're like, uh, you, you went into the AC and now you're like, oh, oh, it's starting to Whoa. like, the you're salt just, starting to rub together. Just like and this. You're just like, oh. just like this. Oh, yeah, you're, you're like, seen. oh. Ooh. Oh, and yeah, you, you got it. It's that point where you're just like, I got to take a shower like yesterday <laughs> to get the, I got to get everything out of my butt crack. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, there's something way more pertinent than, uh, butt cracks, at least grundle butt cracks. And that's, uh, that's the, uh, you know, the wing. What's- that the wing, the, the wing, <laughs> the wing, the wing that's on the flea and no. that's on the hair. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, what about that flip jack pan in the playlist? Flip jack pan. <laughs> first, I, it's just at first pancakes. I thought, or a- oh, at first I thought you were fucking with me, but no, that's literally what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, okay. All right, let's all right, let's, let's see, see this, this fuck up. Because <laughs> first of all. From the get-go, this person is dumb as shit. Pancakes are a pain to flip, and half the time they burn and stick. Not anymore. Inter- no. I've never... I I don't think I've ever made pancakes on my own. Actually, I have. And I've kind of burnt them, but that was because mm-hmm. I was little. But, like, they didn't do that. I didn't flip them when they were raw. What? <laughs> Sorry. No, <Nah>, it's flipping. <laughs> Go ahead. I just made like I made uh, scrambled eggs today. You know what? I'm competent enough to let it cook there for a while before flipping it. Person in black and white. Yeah. You don't have to put everything up to the top setting of heat. Just mm-hmm. let it cook. It's delicious. Introducing the all new flipjack pancake pan by Organic. The. E- Sorry, is that really loud? Uh, just a tad bit, not too much. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down, turn it down to halfway, cause it's uh, it's super loud in my ears. Easy, so no uh... mess way to flip flapjacks. Or Greenick ceramic cookware has revolutionized non-stick, no-fat cooking. So now with flipjack, just add your favorite batter, close the lid, then flip the pan. You'll have perfect full-sized flapjacks every time, just like wait, the wait, restaurants. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, Plus, stop, the yeah. tight fit design helps keep. What's wait, that? okay, no, no, I, I said stop it, cause like. I just I, I noticed I don't know if you noticed it but if they're cooking it on the pan itself but then they have to flip it but the other part of the pan is not even near the maybe like the part connected to the other pan would get hot but everything else would not be as hot as that pan so it's not going to cook as fast or as evenly as right the first pan both pans would have to be like sufficiently hot yes but there's, I don't think there's enough like conduction between these two to make it. So if the, when this thing flips over, you're not gonna hear like a sizzle. It's just gonna be like a plop, plop. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I thought you were gonna go with, uh, well, instead of cleaning one pan, you now have to clean two. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah. That too, Liz. <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. But yeah, you're, you're a hundred percent right. Like that's not gonna be this. This part is not going to be anywhere near as hot as this part because this one is in contact with the the heat. Unless, actually, you know what? I wonder if it's like you're supposed to keep it closed as your thing is cooking. But then again, how are you supposed to keep an eye out for your pancake? I mean, couldn't you just get a griddle and learn how to flip your pancakes? Plus, you're doing one at a time. That's one pancake at a time. Think if that... If it takes two minutes per per pancake, if you have six pancakes, that's twelve minutes. 
How long does it take to eat a pancake? About 14 seconds. So ten, this, this, ten if ahead. you're a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Seven if you put a uh, good old Ohio maple syrup on it. Ooh. Oh man, I, dude, I gotta I gotta share some of that with you guys. I'll go to I'll go to Burton. I'll get the good stuff. Nice. But let's see what, what the better inside. Said. Like I accidentally, no, Blaine Hoover. Like I accidentally made scrambled pancakes once. I was mixing the batter in the pan while pre preheating it. ADHD brain kicked in. I forgot to stop stirring. <laughs> Hey, you Dude. you still made pancakes. I mean, <laughs> Dude, I, mean I, I, I'd still eat it <laughs> as long as you cook it all the way through. Yeah, man. Like you just probably just made a, uh, a, a new dish. It's just like, some scrambled pancakes. I was just like, uh, well, they're maple syrup dippers. There you go. <laughs> you actually, can... you know what? She actually made uh, she, uh, Blaine actually made uh, the scrambled pancake that she's talking about. It's actually it exists. It's called uh, pancakes a la Shani. A la Shani. No, a la no, no. Shani. Oh, ew. oh. I I would hope I would hope Blaine's uh, you know don't cause anal prolapse at least. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of diarrhea is fine, but anal prolapse, I'm good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. I, and yes, mango is right about the pancakes. Time to flip the pancakes when they're, uh, there are lots of bubbles on it? Yes. I I guess I would agree, but I haven't made pancakes in long enough to to know that they... Okay, do your guys' pancakes normally have this kind of, like, chemical reaction where when you close when you put them into a closed environment they release some sort of side so there's less mess or drip like radiation i guess okay also why did why did she turn to the side because now less mess or drips well that pancake is fucked <laughs> <laughs> forget about clumsy spatulas your green at Flipjack is so easy, you'll flip pancakes with just one hand, then slide them right out of the pan. The secret is the dual hinge cooking design with our green ceramic surface. Nothing ever sticks. Even burned on cheese slides right off with no scrubbing. You'll make hot and tasty blueberry or a stack of buttermilk in seconds. And the kids will love this chocolate chip surprise. Just add batter, close the lid, then flip for full-size fantastic flapjacks, all without using a spatula. Does this ever happen to you? Not with no. Flipjack. Jack, now over. No, that never happens to me because I'm not happen to me. chef. <laughs> like, I hit actually the... go ahead. My bad. Uh, I was like, I was just gonna say, just heat, heat the pan, add a special amount of oil, and then put the eggs in, and make sure just they don't stick. That's it. Have a spatula ready to just like, like actually, I don't mm -hmm. know what you do, Liz, but what it, like when I make like a sunny side ed eggs like that, it's just you know kind of because it it does tend to kind of stick around the edges. But I always just, you know, put the spatula under it, just around, like, kind of going around it so it doesn't stick, and it's ready. It's ready, you fuck nuts. <laughs> I I do kind of, like, a similar thing, but, like, kind of like olive oil eggs. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll put olive oil in the pan, heat it up, and then put the eggs in there, and then, well, just, like, flip them over. And, yeah, you get, because the, the oil doesn't, unless you're using, like, a, a spray-on or you actually, like, butter the pan completely mm -hmm. the eggs are gonna stick a little bit but yeah you scrape them off and you flip them over and let the yolks cook a little bit and the top uh, cook and whatnot it's too fucking easy and flipping them over and breaking not breaking the yolks yeah is a skill but it's a very easily acquired skill so mm -hmm. you don't need a fucking one egg pan to do it that's all i'm saying <laughs> You were, I'm in. Uh, Mango says, I've never put uh I've never put a pancake in a closed pan. Closed pans are for waffles. I <laughs> I honestly wouldn't know. I have a waffle maker that is still unopened. It was re gifted to me. So maybe we'll have waffles on the reptile rustle up if that ever opens for business. Breezy eggs are a cinch. And best of all, no broken yolks. So call now to get the flipjack pancake pin. Oh. Here's some inside in. Oh shit! What's the inside information? <laughs> that Betty Crocker's old as shit. 
<laughs> Older well, than dirt. Betty Crocker doesn't exist. Betty Crocker's a fucking lie. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> for real, I don't. I don't know if I want to watch Big Crocker. City Sliders. Oh my god! Wait, Big City Sliders. Where? Go down, go down, go down. Right there. There it is. Okay. Mm, I remember oh, those. Billy Mays oh, here for the Big Billy City Mays. Sliders. Oh, station. I do the remember this and easy shit. Way to press and cook delicious sliders. Those restaurant mini burgers everyone loves. No more squishing mm. and squashing or flipping and flopping. With the slider station, just scoop, press, and cook right on your stove. The unique design cooks both sides at once, so you mm. never have to flip them. And in just two minutes, you'll have five mouth-watering sliders. Use dinner rolls, potato- What do you think? I'm sorry, I have some bias towards Billy Mays. <laughs> he's he's selling this to me, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for sure, he's selling the shit out of it. I mean, I also have the same bias because I want those sliders on all of these rolls, mm -hmm. mostly because Billy Mays is giving me these rolls. He's like, look at all these rolls. Look at the amount of rolls you can put these burgers on these sliders. I'm like, yeah, Billy Mays, I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Blaine says she'd eat Betty Crocker. <laughs> so, take that as you will. No comment. Um, yeah. <laughs> when she also says when when he died, I was in fifth grade. One of the fourth grade one of the fourth graders told me that a light fell on him and shocked his heart to death. That I. And that it had been filmed but not released. I never questioned until I was an adult. Oh my god, dude. Was it that long ago? Like, how old are you? Fucking 15? No, she's Jesus. probably around, she's probably around <laughs> me. So, Billy Mays passed Jeez. away in 2009. I was 11 when he passed. Oh like, 11, god. 12. I joined the army in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, little me legit thought Billy Mays was uh, the oh she's she's younger than me by like a year too <laughs> jeez dude y'all are making me feel old yeah. oh man that's welcome crazy to, welcome to the party Blaine <laughs> yeah damn dude yeah that that that's amazing to find out like what urban legends I don't know came across you know or, or developed with you guys because. Why well, I wasn't around for it. I was fucking sucking shit in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were you were you were picking out little like grains of sand from your ass crack. That's what you were doing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That, that was the worst. The it's good to have a battle buddy when you know the sand gets into places. But anyway, let's talk about Billy Mays's uh, sliders. Mm -hmm. Hater rolls. Any bun. You can double or triple stack them and watch your family attack, attack them. Top with yes. pickles, onions, ketchup or cheese, big city sliders are sure to please. The double-sided non-stick surface is so slick, not even burnt on cheese will stick. Whether it's ground... That just has to be the, like the go-to for the non-stick, isn't it? Yeah, the cheese, because Americans love their fucking cheese. Yeah, and you got to burn your cheese. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, if you haven't burnt your cheese and it, and stuck it to a pan, are you really an American? I mean, you're making me question my citizen citizenship, man. <laughs> hey, man, I, I'm just saying. Well, maybe you have some Billy Mays gadgets so that your cheese never stuck to the pan. Maybe Unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, well check the labels if it says um made in china then yes it has probably been endorsed by billy mays at some point beef chucker sirloin just scoop press and cook no flipping and no hassle make healthy turkey chicken and veggie burgers with ease and join the craze with me billy mays you could also one how much is it and two wouldn't the top have to be just as hot as the bottom it says it evenly heats it out from both sides i know but does it though i feel like you would have to put this like on a burner it probably and... doesn't because one side is 
on top of the fire your heat source the other one is just conducting that's it oh shit hold up i gotta my cat jumped out the window i have to check oh, up on him. holy shit go get him <laughs> okay well well fucking um Rav steps off to wrangle up some pussy. Uh, we'll take a look at this uh, meat getting flattened out. You cook them on a bed of onions for that classic diner taste. And or so use the slider geez. station as the ultimate Mago burger press. Mago needs to be on suicide watch. No. Mago needs to... Mago needs to make, make, make me mac and cheese. Wait. Mago, you said you were getting mac and cheese supplies. And you told me to get mac and... Uh. You didn't tell me to get mac and cheese supplies. I said I would, but I didn't. This is the last thing I did was go to the grocery store. To load the grill in no time. And watch this. A little On culprit. On a busy school morning, five perfect egg sandwiches oh. in an instant. Mom Because the thing is, he jumps out, and then he'll just stare at me like, pick, like take me back inside. I'm like, you're tall enough and you're big enough. Oopsie. Hold up. That's the one I want to That's how you do it. There he is. Look how big he is. He's a big cat. Okay. Put him down. I'm a kitty cat. I'm not allowed on stream. <laughs> <laughs> big old long cat. Damn, dude. These actually look pretty good. I would eat these. But I wouldn't buy this kitchen gadget in order to do so. I wonder if those are what egg McMuffins are supposed to look like. Well, they they have like a form for the thing, for like the egg. Like, oh yeah, that's true. They have a little fucking disc yeah. that they put on the grill. <laughs> Show us the fucking cat wrap. <laughs> cat, uh, poor oh. Ami. Oh. He's still here. I don't know why he has <laughs> this poor cat. He's still here. This fucking cat. This big ass cat. Look at him. He's so big. The big boy right here. <laughs> I'm scaring him. All right. Hey, make me. <laughs> make me want a fucking animal. I, I, I can't take care of an animal right now. I need. I, I need a kitty cat. Get a goldfish. <laughs> I I have a fish tank and got a lot of snails and uh, bottom feeders in it. But uh, I want like a I want a a mammal, chunky, <laughs> chunky size. Yeah, he's he's pretty chunky. <laughs> chunky boy. I want like a I want a chunky boy like a little cat or a puppy to to snug up with when the winter comes because. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really nice. Oh, dude, definitely. When he was a kitten, he would just snuggle up, like, up to my neck right here. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you're going to make me go to the shelter. Anyway, let's continue Bones on. You're going to love yeah. it. Make me and hungry. when you're done, <laughs> clean up the breeze. You can get the Big City Slider Station with measuring scoop for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping and handling. Damn it. I forgot. Because the last one didn't, we'll also yeah, the last one didn't have the, uh, the thing, one with my favorite the, creations, the price, like the barbecue price. bacon cheddar and the original Billy Burger. But that's not all. We'll send you the quick prep slicer. Perfect for onions, pickles, and mushrooms. A $20 value. Just pay separate shipping and handling. You get the big city slider. That sounds cheapy scoop, as hell. Like guide. the quality, like when it goes, sounds a little yeah. cheapy. Oh, that, that would work for maybe a container of mushrooms and then it'd be done. <laughs> like the thing, just use a knife. You would, you would actually probably save time if you used a knife. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but uh, anyway. And the quick on. prep slicer. <laughs> Here's how you can call or log on to get yours. How do we do it, Billy? <laughs> Does it say? It does. You'll never know. <laughs> oh, oh, huh? Yeah, he was making the burgers. He's he's not even it. he's not even using it for. It's just I'm just gonna use this as a shape and just plop it down. Yeah, why not? I mean, that takes away most of the uh, usefulness of this device, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, all right, you you pick something, man. <laughs> all right, let let's see what we got. I let me let me pick something. I got another. 
Oh no, wait, I can't do that. <laughs> can't just. Hi, Billy oh god, we can't do it again. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, da -da -da -da. nice. 90s infomercials is where I, uh, where I was not at. So we can pick one of these. Let's see. The Sputnik Cleaner? Alright, do you want to do the Sputnik Cleaner or the Euro Slicer? I think mm. we already checked out the Euro Slicer, actually. Let's do the it's Sputnik like a, Cleaner. Yeah, because I think the Euro Slicer is just like a um, mandolin. Price, 1995. Oh, God. And date... Wait, is this really 90s? Because this is 2002. Dude, this is the fucking slate for this thing. Do you know what a slate is? You're, What's a slate? So like, uh, when you know when they do like the clack thing for movies, it's kind of that's like a kind of a slate. It just shows what the scene is. And oh, when okay. you do a when you do any kind of production, oh, like take two. Yeah, there you go. That, that's pretty much that's what it is. This, that's what this is. It's just a description of exactly what's in the video, and it shows you. It's this is the metadata. This is the metadata before metadata was really a thing. So this is like the raw video. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Is they this is this was what was pitched to the people that were like, okay, yeah, we were we we're able to broadcast this on our station. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is a little rare. We got some raw video, dude. Um, Lizard, do you want? Uh, conspiracy theory nostalgia. I have great vid. Absolutely, send it in the uh, send it in the uh, chat. We well, we're at three twelve. What time is it? For me. It's like ten forty three for you. Yeah, it's getting a little late. It if it's short, otherwise we'll uh, we'll watch it on another stream. And I wouldn't be uh, adverse the to having you here if you want to be here. For the Sputnik cleaning machine. Spunk pick. Hold on, I want to see something. So, so for five, six should be up for about ten seconds. Yep, ten seconds. Then five seconds of black, and oh, we have ten seconds of black. The following is a paid presentation. Wow. Sputnik cleaning machine. So normally you you have the slate and then you have five seconds of black and then it goes into whatever the production is and that's just a separator so if it, if they're like okay yeah well i want i want to show this on my uh broadcast i want to put this as a commercial then they can just cut that five seconds out they know it's five seconds long and they can put their timestamp at it and cut it out that certain that point but um would you Sorry. Cut your laundry time in half. Cut it in half? How? What? Laundry time is the worst time I have. Anything to make it easier. You're telling me I can cut my laundry time in half? Now you can with Sputnik, the revolutionary new washing machine that uses pressure to wash clothes clean in half the time. Old-fashioned washing machines use technology that hasn't changed in centuries, from washboards <sighs> to washing agitators. All you do is move the clothes around inside the water. But Sputnik changes all oh that. Oh my god. The secret's in the special locking... It makes doing laundry smaller. People have large loads. They gotta wash. You dipshits. <laughs> it, this legit is just like oh i know you got like a bunch of shit that you gotta <laughs> like this actually makes it longer because you have to sort your big pile into smaller piles and you have to wait for the smaller piles to be, get clean before you touch the rest yes i get it if you have uh like a, a big load of laundry and you have to put it in the washer <laughs> it may take a while but at least you're done like after like in one go this you have to do like a couple multiple ones which takes even more time, you dumb shits. Yeah, plus this is the washing; it's not the drying either. Mm -hmm. So you're just washing. You're and she's doing this shit in her kitchen. 
Like, why would you do... You have a full washer over there. If you have kids, can you imagine? Like, I, uh, <laughs> I, I imagine you've been around, like... Well, you, you, your sister has kids, right? I think. She has one. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you'd at least know somebody that has kids. And the only reason I know that is because I keep telling you to tell her to hit me up, which... <laughs> Well, you haven't done. But uh, anyway, I thought we were better friends than that. But anyway, <laughs> onto the spot. <laughs> kidding. Kidding. I get onto it. Onto the spot. Um, so, <laughs> but like, if you had, even if you had one kid, I, I'm talking about like uh, a two, two parents, one child. This would, this thing would be, no, you couldn't use this. I couldn't use this. I do laundry like once, once maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta dry it. You gotta dry it. Does the Sputnik dry? Do you think the Sputnik dries? Nope. Oh, you know what? If this came out like, uh, like now and like present day, like as we know it, this would be sold in in like as a pair with the vacuum dryer. You remember oh, that? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Well, we just it put it into a vacuum. Well, it's this creating a <laughs> vacuum is actually really hard. Where it's, you have to have this tiny ass device that actually does the thing. We we dry your clothes <laughs> with in a in a vacuum with infrared light. Yeah, but where does the water vapor go? Yeah, where's it? <laughs> It's a, it's a dehumidifier, man. <laughs> and uh, I ain't go hit hit up my DMs. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, is that blood? <laughs> Hold on. Look at that. Forcing the water through the fibers in all kinds of fabrics. Blasting. That's like. That's like. Did they. It's like brain matter. <laughs> I'm thinking something else. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. This, this is after someone ate Chipotle. Oh. I thought you were going to say spaghetti. I'm not a fan of spaghetti. But anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe some poopies. But it looks like... I think what they're going for is actually like... Dirt? Microscopic like particles. Or something. I don't know what they're actually going for, honestly. But like... Uh, what, are you, what are you doing? No, I can hear you. You're like banging something on your microphone. Oh, sorry. I, th uh, th I thought you, I was like, "What are you doing to this?" I didn't. I didn't think you were telling me that. No, no, no. <laughs> no oh, so it was, sorry. It's a, it's all good. Getting your clothes clean, really clean in just minutes. Sputnik makes doing laundry a chore no more. But it looks so wrinkled, though. Time saver. Sputnik saves you money too. With the breakthrough pressure technology, you're using 90% you... less water, 90% less soap, and 90% less energy to... And you have 90% less space in which to do laundry. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> what is the... <laughs> what is the benefit of this Sputnik? Like, I, I, got I, a, no... I got a Sputnik, guys. That's a benefit. Just the bragging rights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasted my fucking money on this... The average washer Plastic pieces of shit. If you're putting that much detergent in, you're doing something wrong. You're doing everything wrong. Just stop crunching With chips, man. I'm so... I want some chips so bad. I was really skeptical. Use it once, and you will see it really works. Sputnik is amazing. My hand washing was done in seconds. I can't believe the time I saved. The Sputnik is a miracle. But Sputnik does so much more. 
This skirt looks like it fell in a wine bath, <gasps> but Sputnik cleans it quickly and with no damage or wear. Stay tuned to see what happens to this gorgeous wedding gown. What? We deliberately stain and attempt to restore this dress as we put the incredible Sputnik pressure cleaning machine to the ultimate test. And look, and now are you kidding me? Amazing time and money are you kidding me? <laughs> so <laughs> le legit, not, not even, so it's even worse than I thought. Not even like making a, like putting a big load into smaller loads but legit they put one dress mm -hmm. one dress it seems like it only has one. enough space for one dress one one wedding dress now granted that's a decent amount of space however i'm, I'm not washing a wedding dress i have a comforter i live in ohio so the thing's a little floofy. You think I could get a little? You think that I could get a Sputnik Four with an extra fucking, maybe uh, an extra gallon of space and a uh, second hand crank? Like what? And what I was gonna say is they poured the wine on that dress, but they just sort of like poured the wine over that dress and it went into the sink. It, yeah, I didn't really like stain yeah. it. Either they had, that dress had some coating, or it was a very, very nice dress, or very cheap dress that it just sort of just water off the duck's back, you know. <laughs> Mango's getting carried away with the loads. And you a special in-home trial that you won't want to miss is Terry Toner and her guest John Parkin. What if I were to tell you there's a way oh to cut your washing time in half? That's right. Here to show us exactly how to do that, all the way from England, your friend and mine, John Parkin. Hey, all the John. way from Great England. You, oh, how are you doing? Oh, hey. Does this look familiar? Yes. I mean, we've got Johnny's uh, softball shirt. He said he'd take care of. <laughs> we've got Jenny's soccer outfit. You know the uniform, and of course, she needs that for 8:30. We've got. We got Bob's cum socket here. And all the other stuff that we need. <laughs> 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 put all the dirty clothes back into the basket and that's what happens in every single <laughs> <That's laughs> basket uh, I'm sorry. Why don't we start to do some laundry now with the spot he fucking throws shit. it back and cracks the screen <laughs> behind him <laughs> and also for dry cleaning all I'm using here is about a liter of hot water now that's about a quart that's right you ever <laughs> you ever <laughs> you ever <laughs> toss the remote to your sibling and Dinks off the screen. <laughs> what else? Let me explain what's going on inside. You see, when you put the hot water inside, it actually heats up the air inside. Stop, Lee. You're going to make me oh, joke. Yeah. You're going to make me joke. In other words, it creates yeah. pressure. What was that? Fuck. Okay. Okay. Breathe. Okay, breathe. Good. And of course, you <laughs> Yeah, I'll let your beans breathe every once in a while. Every lizard knows that. Release the pressure. You hear that? I heard it. Now, let me ask you another personal question. All right. You don't mind. Okay. To do a load like this. I'm good now. In your regular washing machine. Man, I want some Doritos. Pass them over, man. Well, even with a small load, my machine takes at least a half an hour. Half an hour. And you know what? Take a look at this because I've done this for half of this. One load Dorito. Less than thirty seconds. And look, this stain. This doesn't work. I'm so hungry. Really, really clean, John. I can't drive anywhere because my head is It's also fucking juice, late as shit. With the Sputnik, I just put in the detergent and the water and wait, wait, wait. Is that her claim to fame? Mm -hmm. Do we just see that? Her claim to fame is it's what? Amazing. These are really, really clean, John. My boys are always getting into dirt and spilling fruit juice. But her claim Sputnik, to fame is that the, the Sputnik is great for removing flavors or whatever sorry I kept doing the in less than 30 seconds and look this spin <laughs> it's amazing these are really really clean john my boys are always getting into dirt and spilling fruit great for removing fruit juice that's actually a good question convince me conspiracies because uh i didn't know i had so much time for um stream yard so what are you doing friday raf hmm Wait. This Friday? This Friday. Okay. Uh I should yeah, I should be free. I should be free this Friday. 
Okay, and I can I can start a little bit later. I can go to eight o'clock because it's Friday, so going mm-hmm. to Saturday for me, um, a, a day off for me. But um, you wanna uh, you wanna do a, a drinking stream with myself? I'm not working this week. Yeah. All right. Yeah, myself, uh, uh, con- uh, conspiracies, and uh, you. Is she is she gonna come on on stream? Yeah. So like oh, one a.m. Yeah, it'd be like uh one a.m. your time, uh, oh, TMC, shit. and then uh, if we uh, if you want to go a little bit earlier, I don't know. We we can work around it. We can work around the times. It's because I work um, um from like six a.m. to three p.m. here. What time would you be available? Like at four. Four. Yeah, like, like four o'clock. Four, four, sorry, okay. for it for you. It's like uh, seven p.m. Seven. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, like seven seven thirty around then. Mm-hmm. We can All start. Right. I think Fuck. that'd be cool. Uh, are we taking shots or are we drinking beers? Uh. I'm down for shots. If you're down for shots, I think uh, Conspiracies is down for shots. Okay, because fri- this Friday, luckily, is payday for me. So I'm, Same here. <laughs> I, uh, what is it? That's awesome because then I could just go and get a bottle of Patron and just take like shots with you. Awesome. It's 11, by the way. Yeah, it's about, the, uh, it's about time for me to uh, sign off. But we're going to we're gonna finish out this for a little bit. That's true, but, uh, Blaine. Yeah, we'll... Uh, that, all that aside, awesome. We will. Um, I'll send you guys a uh, a group message, um, mm-hmm. e- either tonight or tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll settle on a on a time, and I'll put a, I'll put something out, and we'll have something here. Maybe we can uh, figure out how to get donos for everybody. That would be really nice. But we'll, we'll figure that one out. Uh, I'm not gonna end it end the stream just yet. So we will. Uh, that's just a, a little bit of an, of an aside, but yeah, I will set up something in the Discord. Uh, Conspiracy, if you're not in the Discord, go ahead and um, be in the Discord so that I can uh, send you a message. <laughs> it should be pinned up at the top. Uh, sorry, I was running out of breath. Anyway, <laughs> that uh, that aside, let's uh, listen to Melissa Grover. Grover, I think. Gro- Grover. Grover. Okay, anyway, fuck you, Melissa. Great for, she's great at removing fruit juice. Okay, fruit I thought juice, so. But with the Sputnik, I just awesome. put in the detergent and the water. It's hard for me to remember, and like, it's ready in things. My daughter is spilling punch all the time. And with the Sputnik, we put it in, it comes off, and I don't have these little pink marks all over their clothes. Well, okay. let me have a look through here, see what we got. You know, oh. What about this? Did your husband ever get a, you know, a wine stain on his shirt like this, Tori? Mm-hmm, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's a mess. Mm. Okay, well, right. if you think that's a mess, okay. have a look at this. Terrible. Uh, did he ever come in, you know, and maybe on the corner of the pocket, just the oh, corner there, he maybe no. had a, a pen that leaked? Uh, oh, oh, what about God. this? You know, a nurse's nightmare. Iodine, Stop. you know, they get that Stop. all over their white uniform. Why'd you gotta rub dog <laughs> shit on it? Well, let's see. <laughs> what I'm, I'm gonna pop that into the washing machine, like so, like that. Then Don't I'm put it in there. Water. And remember, it's as simple and oh, as we, easy we'll... as this. Then, of course, I just need. So we have to use the measuring Any cup there for, after the dog shit. Tiny little teaspoonful, like that. That's pop the lid on. You it's know, gonna need more than that, bud. Yeah. As as, as that. Then, what did course, he put remember, in there? One, the like, tablespoon of. One turn detergent. Per second, and what that does is that builds up the pressure inside. Now, then you think I've ruined this shirt? Well, you know, let's just take a look, shall we? Are you ready for this? Okay, I'll take the lid off like that. Take out the shirt like this. Okay, let's have a look and see where's the pocket. Well, there's the pocket on the front. Wait. Where's the ink? Where's the ink? Where's, where's the, the lid? Where's the beef? <laughs> The compresses the soap and the water into. Yeah, but there's so many. Like, I mean, there's so many problems with this. One, what kind of ink was it? Two, uh, like, it compresses. If you're gonna put like fabric under pressure, especially like in liquid like that, it's going to fuck it up 
especially like the more delicate it gets. Because mm-hmm. you eventually you're gonna you're just like putting stress. It's the same thing like you do with like a, uh, you know. Roads in the winter, you put that the, that added stress on, and eventually things start to flake away, and all of a sudden your your dress, your wedding dress that had the wine on it one time, is now a fucking you know tablecloth. So none of this fucking works. However, comma space, I'm interested to see. Actually, I'm not interested to see any of this. <laughs> I don't know about you, but um, do you want to watch uh, one more? Do you do you have any videos you want to watch that you 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 have? Because I think uh, it's getting late for me. I'm gonna have to call it a night. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately. No, definitely. I'm um, I'm with uh. You got to get some sleep, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. I gotta work tomorrow, so. I gotta get some food too, but uh, Try, we've been here for like three and a half hours. I feel like that's a way good amount. Oh yeah, that's good. And that that leaves more than enough time for us for Friday, so mm-hmm. that we can uh, get together and have uh, have some drink and hopefully not get too fucked up. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> uh, conspiracies is in the uh, Discord, so I guess we'll. Uh, We'll get. We'll all get together. But that all being said, for uh, for myself, uh, I will see you all tomorrow night. Uh, I think I yeah I invited you of course to mm-hmm. uh, to to <laughs> Monday night morrows. I almost said convince me conspiracies. <laughs> uh, I, I invited you guys to convince me conspiracies as well to uh, subscribe to her channel and. Uh, come to Monday Night Morons. We'll uh, check out whatever I said we were going to check out because I totally forgot. Uh, kind of got into Greg Durkin a little bit. He's got those those fucking DSLs. So, uh, but yeah, um, other than that, Friday, uh, myself and Rav and uh, CMC will be here for some drinking and some fun and getting ready to go into the weekend and um, other than that I all I want to do is wish everybody a, a good night and um, once Rav is done doing his thing I will play everybody out Oh yeah, I'm I'm good. Thanks for having me on, Liz. Nice chilling with you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Uh, sleep. <laughs> yes. Everybody get some sleep. And uh, thank you again, Rav, for being on. And also thank you, Rav, for providing the uh, the end credits and the end All right. of the uh, outro. Appreciate it. Take no care. Problem. You Take too, man. Care. Everybody else take care, and I will see you very soon on the next one.